All right, let's make sure that everything is okay. I'm going to be chilling today and seeing what everything is doing. Get rid of this real quick and make sure that everything works. This was too, a little bit of a rush job today. Uh, it's okay. Playlists, done, save, okay, close you, hello, ninja, apparently there's a live stream today, so, um, that's gonna be fairly important to take a look at, I'll be keeping an eye on it for now, because it doesn't seem to have started, um, so I'll just be having that on the off side. It's going to be really difficult to track all of this. So bear with me. Uh, no, don't do anything like that. Chat. There we go. All right. So uh, apparently there's a dev stream today. Uh, so we'll I'll take a look at that. Yeah, it's probably about Dante. They're probably going to announce the next um, Warframe. Being, it's either Protea. So here, here's the thing. It's not guaranteed to be Protea. It could be Zaku. Right? Yeah, and if it's Zaku, that'd be great. Because, like, I think our, like, sh uh, weird monstrosity of a boy has not been, uh, has not gotten a lot of love. Uh, don't forget that you can get these guys from the anniversary web webpage right now. So you can get, uh, Dex Color Picker. So that's, uh, for, if you don't know, Dex means digital extremes, right? Also, we got a Fomorian and we got Barricadeer. So we got lots and lots of things to cover today. Uh, and don't forget, we also get the 11th anniversary stuff. So we get the Excalibur Dex skin. Reminder, if you don't have a the base Warframe, you, uh, I believe you still get the Warframe itself, right? Uh, so I'll be doing the Gifts of the Lotus, and I'll be trying to deal with the Fomorian. I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, not going to do any Arbitrations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I imagine you're more excited for Protea than you are Zaku. That's my imagination of it. Uh, yeah, so today today we're going to help out Call. We're going to get the Ceramic Dagger uh, in Karnan. And then we're going to hit up. Well, no, we're, we're going to do the Gifts of the Lotus. Then we're going to uh, take a look at the Ceramic Dagger and what we need to upgrade it. Because, you know what? <laughs> Ceramic Dagger isn't bad. So Deathless, that's always there. Veils, Chipper's Tools. Did I miss last week? I might have missed last week. Okay. Uh, life's just been kicking me in the butt lately. So, grab that. Some easy plat. Uh, let's see. So we need to go do Call Goes Fast. So I need to do the do all of this. While Calgo has to go fast. So, this I'm not going to worry about early. I can't worry about it early. Chipper's tools, well, I'll run into them. Axioms, I'll run into them. You can also hear them. Veils are what's going to be the slowest part. Let's give this a go. So, I thought I did... I thought I did a uh, Call's thing last week. Apparently, I didn't. So, now now we're both... We're matched up again. I have to do Sneaky. Sneaky Sabotage. Oh, is something happening? Yes, something's happening. Okay, uh, let me swap over to uh, that really quick. Creative director of Warframe. There we go. Uh, Jump over, Dr. Uh, using uh, the text to 178. Bring that back up. <laughs> we One, didn't practice and at all. 178. And creative director of Soul I need Frame, to pull that Jeff there. Okay. Crooks. All right. So, 
Now we can watch that on the side, and if anything changes, I can swap them around. I just lost a bunch of time because this had to have happened. Still say blow up. Maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a test of the orbital strike. You're right. You're right. Warframe was 11 years ago. You're just looking at photos. I was just looking at Young photos. Rebecca. Our, we were part of the NVIDIA booth for Warframe 11 years ago. And PAX has always... Hmm. PAX East has oh, always been my favorite. Oh, sweetie. See that big Magna locked door up ahead? We love us. You need oh. to get on the other side. Uh, where is the thing? I don't see it yet. There's the accent. Three. <laughs> Grab that. We do have a timer, and it's stressing me out, but it's fine. Um, I will do like so there's going to be the pack stuff. So we're, we're going to watch that on the side while this is happening. Watched a dev stream before, like an act. Okay. Cool. You know what to expect then. That makes this so much easier. Yeah. You know the expectations for our dev streams. Where is it? Oh, it's downstairs. Drop, okay. I love you. We'll get back to it, I swear. Uh, sorry, all oh, the gas in the crowd. Game audio is a bit loud, or sorry, stream audio is a bit loud? Uh, we do have Gift of the Lotus alerts in game. They are 72 uh, hours, but let's here. see. You're not playing Warframe, but you could. So I'll turn this down. Oh my gosh, she looks a little bit messy. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'll, is it game audio, or is it stream audio? I'll, I'll turn down both. The game audio, okay. Uh, I'll turn down game audio and I'll turn up. Um, here, let, let's do this. Confirm. And then we'll go here and turn this up. And then that should be okay. Oh. <laughs> Special guest, okay. Eventually, uh, you could ask them as well. Um, so just stay tuned. Uh, and we'll get it sorted out if you'd like to do a question, and we'll give you an answer at the end of the stream. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So it's going to be a little bit hard to manage because I'm also trying to do call goes fast at the exact same time. a year or 11 years. Oh! oh man. Some OGs. So uh, that's going to be a little weird. Oh, my God. Look at that. All right. All right. Wow. <laughs> we're, celebrating, yeah. <laughs> we're celebrating 11 years of Warframe, and it is uh, it's done you that we've been kicking it for 11 years. I know you guys have been here for over 11 years. Uh, tickers you know, thing has been I'll found. Date, but been <laughs> Although, here. Jeff got ID'd in Boston, so he's not that old. Still pretty good. <laughs> so we, pretty told, good. We, we told the bald brigade of <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's keep going, let's keep going. They were, they were so right now they're just doing the some... Uh, yeah. <laughs> like very uh, minor stream things of, they're showing of off free stuff, uh, free stuff. Uh, we do a uh, collection of items called dex items and this year we're doing the dex nakana as our anniversary celebration and we mm -hmm. brought just a little video to show you a little bit more about our anniversary so let's watch okay give me a sec let me swap Ooh, a little loud uh let's see i believe this is it there we go Hang on, I want to see too. Oh, that, that, that's just some basic stuff. Okay, we already saw that. It's on YouTube already. So we're definitely getting 99 this year, so... Like, uh, it's supposed to be, like, during Tenocon this year. Be going, we'll be going live up. for anyone who logs into Warframe. They'll get an inbox with the Dex Nakana starting March 27th. Once our next update comes out, which will obviously that's smart. <laughs> ah. Put the free thing with the update. I ah. get it. I get it. Entice you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyone uh, who logs into Warframe uh, will get that let's inbox. Don't worry about Dex that. Nakana, and then we have alerts for I think eight weeks of alerts with all the previous year's Dex stuff. So if maybe you're new and you want to get a whole arsenal of I okay, so you can get all the previous years, year's so Dex stuff. So so, like, Dex Wisp, uh, Dex Wisp skin it's is probably my favorite Wisp all skin all at the moment, you're so, of <laughs> totally if you're missing out on any of the Dex stuff, it's not, it's um, you should, you should probably uh, go grab we, it. We have, I believe it also comes with the Warframe? Well I could be mistaken. Steel Path Difficulty Alerts? Woo! 
our that's that's kind of spicy and we do have new merch if you want to pre-order some uh warframe 11 year merch uh get yourself a cool t-shirt and a pin you can pre-order it now okay let me i i can't see chat at the moment so give me a second i'll deal with that in a moment sorry uh now we know we're turning 11. tenocon is going into its ninth year has anyone ever been to Tenocon here? <gasps> wow. So I'm probably going to get the uh, ticket passports, I find, for so the like online a... stuff so I can <laughs> get the borrow <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I do recognize and, a lot oh, of Oh, no, I could also just pick really up nice. the, uh, so yeah, Tenocon over the years, the ba barrel know, is Warframe's annual convention. And we've been doing uh, it for this will be yeah. our ninth year, and it's a day to just. I'm not too worried about the Axum right now. Coming to London, Ontario, <laughs> wanting to hang out with us. Because like that should be easy to get, I think. As to what's going on, uh, and we kind of talked about this earlier, but we do have tickets launching on March 28th. Uh, the physical tickets as well as the digital pack. And for the first time, we're going to see what exactly those digital items could be. First time ever? First time <laughs> world premiere. <laughs> oh my god, world premiere. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, oh, OK. Oh, what, what are we, what, we're getting what are we some digital at? items. We we're really going all in on the 1999 theme for this year's TenoCon stuff, which you'll be very 1999, clear why by the end of this panel. Probably like the best year that stuff, but, uh, our team like, people really like to run this about. Killer bundle this year. Uh, whether you're coming in person or if you're just able to grab the digital pack, you'll get these. Uh, those are some throwing weapon skins and a Cyan Donna that actually is a, a straight up backpack. Straight up backpack. <laughs> <laughs> what you straight put in that backpack, backpack huh? we won't ask. It's all. And there's a little okay, symbol I miss, on there so that I have to take a sneaky sneak. It should be fine. There's symbols everywhere with those with eyes to see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not featured in this art, but it was too cute not to show that's also in this digital pack is perhaps a <laughs> floof version. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of so weird. This is Arthur, and he isn't going to be in floof version for the digital pack. And just too it's cute. It's a little not weird, to show. not going to lie. Uh, so, March not 28th, lie. these are all going to be going live. Again, if you want to come to London, Ontario, hang out with us, uh, see all of it live, meet the rest of the crew. Uh, March 28th, these tickets will be uh, I don't need sale. to do and any more bail breaker and well. stuff. So. And for the Americans in the CAD, CAD means Canadian dollars. Oh. So, in your money, you that's like. CAD? It's a deal. Our tickets actually. Why like are you saying CAD? Oh. <laughs> not, not that is, it's like an old well. person trying to <laughs> remain hit with the youngsters. I tried to buy a coffee this morning, and that was <laughs> devastating. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> that, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Um, one of the great things about TenorCon is that it's also okay. a charity initiative. Um, and this year, I'm happy to say that we are pairing with two charities. Okay, Sick so Kids, largest charities. center dedicated to Canadian health. Ca children's health in Canada, as well as uh, wow. Able Gamers. So we're going to be supporting the yes, Able Gamers. We're going to be supporting them. Uh, and they're a part of TenoCon, so just thrilled to have them on board. Uh, and, You're right, wrong you know, button. And more coming soon. Is that housekeeping over? Housekeeping's over. We did a team. We got through housekeeping. <laughs> Let's get to some fun things, shall we? Dante Unbound is coming next week. March they were really slow with updates this uh, year, it feels uh, like. The follow-up update to Whispers in the Walls. Uh, we won't spoil anything here, I don't think. Mm, no, but we have some newer fun things to show that's coming in the update. Next week. Next week. The update March next okay, week. Okay, okay. Three of no, Okay, yeah. okay <laughs> what do you got for us, <laughs> uh, So coming in Dante Unbound is our next Warframe. It's our 56 Warframe. Dot Would you just... I was leaning like him, but 56? it didn't work well. I was trying to like... Okay. <laughs> it's not a good idea. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> You're too cool for that. Nope. Uh, Sorry, I'm not giving much of a reaction, but don't. There's not a lot to talk about. A story from the Leverian. Drusus has a bit of a role to play. Yeah, we didn't want to uh, do an update without any lore. You know, it's important for people out there that want a little bit of texture with their food, of their Warframe meal. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's important to us to, to give, um, and we've done no, this I for missed, years and okay. years, try and have something. If we can't do a quest, because it's a smaller update, at least uh, there can be really? something. So oh, we're bringing back no, a very the same uh, game. <laughs> fan favorite character to serve as the antagonist for this update for what, uh, you know, what happened to Leverian. Why aren't you getting Leverians frequently anymore? And, you know, Dante himself, what role did he play in curating the Leverian? Because surely Drusus Leverian and couldn't get all that information himself, Dante had to help him. And if Dante went missing, okay, I'm just going to try to skip this because I have to go fast. Mm -hmm. I'm almost we know out of time. Are, you know, 
Prex cards. Yes. Oh yeah, you added an asset oh, in like an hour ago. Yeah. That's an impressive yeah. Do you like that segue? Thank you. That was because that was very quick. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Eric Vetter who sent us. He just wanted to shout out. He, he really did shout out. Eric, yeah. you're welcome. He sent me this like an hour ago. Uh, this is the reveal of the Dante Prex card that is going to be coming, obviously, in Dante Unbound. Just a cool guy. Cool just guy a with a cool guy. What? Yeah. 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 Cool guy with okay, Eric. It's All right. Okay, Eric. <laughs> Everyone at the company nagged him about this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, like, give yeah. us a prex card. Stop moving. Uh, we there also we brought go. a little video just to kind of encapsulate. Let's just ignore uh, everything else and head about, out. There is a lot. So I think that's just, just about everything. Video, yeah, all goes fast. I know that there's a guy up there. So I'm not gonna bother. Oh, something to watch. This room must be a shrine to one of my dearest friends. But now that shall never come to pass. It's a little rough because I can't hear the uh, game very well. Just We've been talking about Dante I know, I, like, I know, I know. Uh, We're going to salute the sticky fine, corners. That's my real key of the update. Sticky <laughs> corners. Sticky <laughs> corners. Yeah, I got five minutes. Yeah. Sticky yeah. corners. Like, farewell. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting rid of sticky <laughs> yeah. corners? That's great. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, bye. Yeah. I'm so All tired of sticky corners. We're on an angle and a level. The, the physics would block you. <laughs> Any, I have. This has plagued me for 11 years. Yes, no it more. has. What will plague you next? I have a couple things. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Liz. There's a couple yeah. things. Uh, as we've already talked about, Dante Unbound, Steinax oh. officially coming. Just had to show you this glorious key art of Steinax Deluxe because it's one of the most incredible skins so I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, we won't talk about. <laughs> one of the. Uh... <laughs> Most suggestive skins I've ever seen. <laughs> you can. It's, uh, it's an auxiliary, and it, it has its own name, so you can. But I don't think. What are they called? Well, that's buy the skin to oh, find out. I can't even remember. <laughs> Helen, Helen had to name it. Yeah. Sorry, Helen. We, we make sure our microtransactions focus on the ability to customize nipples. It's a very, <laughs> yeah. very uh, important. To us. Yeah, I, we we find that people, you know. Although yeah. I don't know, I don't think you know what you were asking for when you wanted no nipple tassels. So I'll just leave it at that. You you can decide yeah. the version that you want to see. The tassels <laughs> stay on in my build. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's something. Okay, uh, I don't know. I think they unlocked Sorry, something yeah. really <laughs> nasty um, uh, within the community. Fun that are a in thirst. That we haven't they unlocked about a yet, thirst in the community. Fun. Um, if you have seen they the want Ghost the Prime access trailer, anybody see that trailer? Yes. Uh, People you want tassels. You've seen a fun uh, animation <laughs> that Ghost does, and we've decided to, the team turned uh, it into an emote. So we have a little video clip here to show. Okay, let's check out the you Void Creator. You put this creator. emote on any happening. Warframe you would like if you want <laughs> to <laughs> show off just how fun and goofy you are. You can put this, uh, it'll be in the market as uh, so our other emotes are, and you can put it on any Warframe that you'd like. Well, no, you have to pay for it. That's what I said. You That's our in the market. second microtransaction. Okay, this is okay. only a microtransaction panel. Speaking, Nipples oh, no. taunting. Speaking Bad of timing. other microtransactions, Void Shell skins. We love <laughs> Void Shell skins. We actually have three coming in this update. I wish you could change yet. the shape of uh, the, the Void Shell skins, being though. For Banshee. We have a little video here to show you what that's going to look like. If you're any Banshee mains out here. She was my th uh, third frame in the year recap. I got the email oh, from yeah. the Warframe marketing, and it was like, here's your top five Warframes this Banshee. year. And Banshee Prime, well, because I was doing the Banshee Prime challenge okay. with Pablo. And mm. I could have won if I had this skin. Put it at the top. So this Ban yeah. She's getting a void shell. Oh, like the, the audio is cutting out for me. We'll be getting a void shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, the Loki player in the and, audience. And he's also getting Ooh. some tweaks this update. He is. So he's getting yes. some buffs. And augment yeah, he's as getting well. Buffs. And augment as well. Decoy is getting uh, some looks at. So yeah, he'll be getting a void shot. Oh, and yeah, the most yeah, yeah. Thing Loki might be actually really busted. We'll see. So you yes. Can, yeah. So you can actually see that skin that you paid money for while you're invisible. <laughs> while you're invisible. <laughs> Damn. What a game. Yeah. And then last but not least, <laughs> Necros will be getting a Void Shell skin. Bone Daddy! Oh, there he is. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Um, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's one of the... Decent. Oh, I remember the Necros update, update if you 10. That's kind of what that. I came from. Update, update 9, I think. 9, 9, nine, nine or 10. Yeah, yeah that was Levantis. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is okay. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the only one you want uh, is Bane of Corrupted, but you like, how often do we fight Corrupted nowadays? Do you want to set the stage for this? It's a bit silly. Since the dawn of time. Oh, crap. 
We have had cosmetic bunny ears in Warframe that we shave off every year. Those bunny ears. As it should be. But, oh, boo. but <laughs> with no one to stop me, <laughs> they put all this tech into the fur upgrades for Kubros. So as you know, your Kubros are going to look better. They have new fur graphics. And we were like, well, what if the bunny ears got fur and then we made them permanent? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. So, yeah, we have a video bunny to show you ears? What that that sounds like, like it's going to be silly. Fur Look at it! Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on. So yeah. these are going to be launching April 3rd. Uh, let me, doing a little let me seasonal move April, the game capture uh, little vibe a little there, bit. So you'll be able to pick these up permanently <laughs> if you would like to. Look at them! Yeah. Look how great they are. Yeah, and you, they, they're color customizable. They have beautiful, um, like, in, I think if you see them in different lighting, they'll have really there realistic uh, bunny ear textures. And you know, it's one of those things that if you don't like them, you don't want to see them around, I'm sorry, uh, but the people that do want them <laughs> sorry, should Jim. be able to have them. Yeah, I'm totally Seymour Skinner right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, no. There's a cohort of people that agree with you, but at the end of the day, I've heard it for too long to, you know, what maybe you? they'll change my mind and rip them off. Oh. A bailiff no, defector. Like the Interesting. For, oh, for don't good. bring yeah. out the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are just a couple of fun things coming in Dante and Bound. Again, launching next week. All platforms, uh, March 27th. Mm -hmm. Not the bunny ears, though. You Not the bunny ears. For April 3rd. Really key, key, important thing. Yes. Now let's move into something that has not been teased, not been accidentally revealed. Oh, no one's guessed ten waves who our of next this prime too. Warframe could be. Any guesses on who the next prime? It's a Kuropodia. I heard Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> Excalibur, Version no. Version 2? Maybe? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, Protea. Oh, hi. Protea Prime is our Protea next. Protea Prime. Prime. All oh right. My God. There you go. Oh, my God. There you go. That's crazy. What a shocker. <laughs> Does she have a universal aura polarity by any chance? She might. OK. She might. She's the best. Any Protea players out here? Uh, yes. Lots I of Protea you're, players, yeah. You're yeah. Lots of Protea Hang on, I need so to also make sure up. I can see chat. Uh, here she is in kind of her different stage <laughs> stages. Uh, visor up, visor down, whatever it is uh, you decide to do. Uh, the team really um, was it was cool to watch them work on this. They wanted to give her, keep her kind of, you know, mech and tech, but also like kind of flower influences. She is well. named after a flower. The Protea is the South African flower. Oh my god, why does the sensitivity course, feel so high in this game? As well, her turrets, her belts. If you've slept on Protea, I cannot emphasize enough. Wait, why are they pronouncing it that? Yeah, she is yeah. so fun. Protea? Yeah. This is not me trying to sell you another microtransaction either. She's just a great <laughs> frame. You will like her. Very, I very swear. good frame. Okay, so but next course, one is Zaku for any sure. Prime is Prime Weapons. Uh, so she will come with the Velux Prime, um, which is the, uh, the artist is Vadim here who did the concept and then Va Vladimir. Yeah, like, okay, the thing about the Velux uh, is, though, this. it's like its stats this. are it's really amazing. bad be for Velux like. Prime. Then it's benefit. Kina Prime as well, dual daggers. Bet you forgot about those, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good weapon. It's cool. It's our only Psy. It's been a minute. And then accessory It's our only one. Psy. Be coming with oh, the Rob boy. Trine Prime, Psy Dana, uh, concepted here by Corey beautifully, and uh, Fyodor did the uh, rendering here for it as well, the model. Oh, that looks very nice. Looks beautiful. Uh, and she'll also have a little bonus alternate helmet. Look at the movement on that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Moving parts. Don't know how much parts. I like the helmet. And she'll also come with a it's it's really big. Ephemera, we don't have an asset for that okay, yet. what's up with the most recent yeah, Warframes we'll and just having, like, ephemera. really yeah, okay, big, like, okay, Prime yeah, Warframes yeah, and really you're big helmets? So, yeah, Protea Prime will be our next Prime uh, joining us. Will she have a trailer? She, <laughs> she yes, she will. they <gasps> all will have trailers. Oh. Yeah, the yep. Gauss Prime trailer yep. era. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. that's I had to, yeah, I did have to warn the team. I think... I think they learned their lesson. Yeah. Like Gauss took a lot out of them, so they're. <laughs> oh, you make it sound so punishing. They learned their lesson was... for making that awesome trailer. <laughs> it's not they like had a lot that. of fun doing it, but I think leading up to TennoCon, they're kind of approaching Proteus. Yeah, we have this really yeah. tough. Well, not tough, but there's a lot coming that we'll get to in the stream. Which the sc the scope of her trailer is not as much as Gauss. Yeah. That came in. Yeah, time. that makes sense. But it's very cool. It's like Gauss was just like so a special watch case. It when it's out, <laughs> because it's like Gauss is <laughs> like is a fan favorite, right? <laughs> well, Protea isn't Speaking as celebrated. Warframe is not the only game that Digital Extreme is working on. <laughs> Soul what frame. Setup is that? No, what? we should yeah. probably <laughs> scrap Soul Frame at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, talk to us. How's Soul Frame? Oh, Megan, you're a good <laughs> champion. I always get insecure talking to our ninjas about the game where you can pet rabbits. Um, 
Uh, but <laughs> we have rabbit ears now. Oh, it's full circle. <laughs> Um, okay, why is my sensitivity so high? It feels like enormous. Uh, before, don't know, it's I haven't changed any settings. On. It's very much a sister project to Warframe, why we embraced the, the Soul Frame branding. Uh, it's right now, it, probably should it's change the name very, away from Soul Frame, though. It sounds really dumb. Preludes build. Like, and, uh, we're it's also keys, like uh, really badly received so far. Is helping, you know, partially new team get used to the production cycle of a live service game, but it's also helping us kind of make something stable and kind of get updates on and we're getting really good feedback from the the player base that we have now in our discord mm -hmm. that Sarah is collecting for us so this is just a little highlight reel of um, kind of what you can see in our wait so is soul frame supposed to be like a live service game that's like mostly it, single player um, or is it like multiplayer like, kind of deal because I like I haven't been following soul frame at all I just know that people who have tried it don't like there's a good chunk of people that don't home. like it oh no uh, you know? we have ambitions to kind of get a pretty good wider release for this uh, this year. Uh, we're talking about what our Founders program can kind of be with, with that. Um, it'll be a bit more of an open concept one. It won't be as e exclusive as Warframe. So there will be more details to come with that, but I think we're gonna be sending upwards of maybe 2,500 keys out a week. Uh, so by all means, uh, sign up and keep checking your email. Early days, it's very early much like days. Warframe's yes. early days. Feeling, it's yeah. feeling very familiar. Yes, it is. Back to those old days. But. Like, I'm kind of tempted to sign up for the yeah, Soul Frame really thing real, just uh, to uh, cover it, but like, oh. All right, let's check it out. Too many things. Too many things. Okay, I don't like this thing. Oh, here we go. Man, the audio is clipping like crazy. Well, yon the veil that I chance to see you. A little minnow okay, in the clear. Okay. A foundling here of mother's sorrow. Conveyed I think the cinematic's very good for Soul Frame. Sparrow. I think it's just like the game, like the like core gameplay loop is going to be cursed, like Warframe. Where like there's a lot of really good aspects. And then, um. This like, it's just cursed by, like, a bad crafting and, like, just bad planning in some spots. Of loving world. Come gather arms against old and hurled. And join our family beyond your blood. For blight is child. Yeah, like, I think Sulfrim looks really, really good. Even but, like, from player. gameplay, what I hear, it's, like, really... Or, like, the game loop is really bad so far. Because, like, the grind is worse than, like, uh, Fortuna. And that, like, imagine, like, Fortuna's grind on everything. <laughs> that, that's basically what, how it was, it was described to me. Right. Like, that sounds like a major turnoff. A bear in a trailer is a risky move these days since Baldur's Gate. I didn't... <laughs> I'm so Wolf. glad you mentioned that me after. I didn't even think about that. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, so awesome work with the team back in London working on that. Yeah, and we'll have, you know, obviously more to share at Tenocon, yes. perhaps. We'll definitely give more insights and... We have a 30-minute demo yeah. again? 30 we minutes. probably got a little too ambitious. You guys, last Tenocon, sorry about that. We'll, uh, yeah. It's, we're figuring you guys out. should be very proud. It's very yeah. cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. Can I have a key? No, still no. Mm, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm getting any so Twitch uh, drops for this. Just as a reminder, you should probably oh, tune in on week, Twitch so you can get a Twitch drop if there is one. That we've been cooking up. Yes, there uh, is. So to set the stage, as you know, Whispers I, I kind of did all, all of my setup year. in a rush. Hopefully you all so. get a chance to play it. If you haven't, it's there. It's free. It's not going anywhere. And we're doing Dante Unbound next week. We're adding some pretty interesting deep Archimedia con consecutive missions. Lots coming. We've talked about that. I think deep Archimedia is a good, no good choice. It. I hope but that they do more things like that. Out. Between Dante I feel like uh, the circuit Tenocons. was an experiment for We know Tenocon's July 19th, and we know Dante's next week. So in the background, in addition to 1999, we've been working on a story that I think we've wanted to tell for the better part of two years now. Oh, oh, yeah, at oh, least. new story? At least. It's, been, it's been talked about for, for a while. So we're really going to try, and we'll keep you posted dev stream after dev stream on how things are tracking towards it. But one of the most beloved and interesting and sometimes friend, sometimes foe characters in Warframe is the Stalker. 
Oh, so <laughs> finally something for Stalker. Dedicated to the Stalker that we're hoping to come soon. We'll talk about it a lot next step stream, but this is a really important topic for us for a lot of reasons. You know, whether you're new to Warframe or you've been with us for a long time, if you've played every quest and then some, you know the role he plays in the identity of the Tenno, of, like I said, friend or foe, who is he, what is he about? So why don't we take a first look at, well, you can, you can intro it and I can talk about it more once we see what I'm talking about. We have a picture. Well, before we show that picture, <laughs> before we show that picture. Oh my God, there's more. All right. So, no, you're okay. Uh, last year, we showed you a different picture, Urelli Deluxe. Uh, yeah, we're show you oh. so many more pictures. Urelli uh, Deluxe uh, is going to be in this update that we are talking about. So here's mm. her uh, concept that Manoush worked on. She's a on little weird ASAS still. This isn't the final form, but we wanted to show you kind of the progress on here because we showed you the concept art last year. Uh, so she'll be coming. Yeah, but no one liked the concept Marina, art, as we can see here. right? And yeah. then as well, the Compressa Deluxe will be coming. Okay, that's kind of gross Rally looking. User, who's also getting some uh, an augment? Why, why does she look <laughs> like a yeah, uh, if, so if Kuva? She looks very cool. You know, depending on where you get your warframe. Like, okay, here's like one yourself. thing. Like, they the they, they get really married on a concept, and then, and then they just they just course. ignore now, like feedback, so. right? Yes. Because I there's a large now proportion of people that don't okay, like yeah, the URL so Deluxe. Megan's photos show. Uh, okay. And what it looks like. On Jade Shadows. Here you see Jade Shadows. All of this is brand new. It'll probably take you a while to parse what's actually going on here, uh, but it's setting the stage for, maybe you can guess what that is lurking in the background. Yes, Obviously, somehow. Stalker gets from place to place using some type of landing craft of its own. Oh, uh, so that'll, that'll his own landing craft, a sentient landing Jade craft. stands in the forefront. 57th Warframe. <laughs> Holding a weapon of her, her own design, and you'll learn a lot about all that in, uh, this will be, this time out before <laughs> we're all looking to search. We're going to be glued to the leather chairs with sweat after this, out of fear. But this is going to be a cinematic quest update uh, okay. from the stalker's point of view. It has a very cool script. Wait, so is this what's script. after 99? So it's, yeah, the shovels are in the ground. Yep. So. And our goal is to get it out to you before TennoCon, and we'll keep you posted on how we're tracking for that. But Wait. We'll, there's going to be a lot we won't tell you because we we're want getting it before TennoCon. Yep. Uh, but we'll give you enough so you can at least get a sense of what the update's about, when it might be coming out, and at what point in the game you need to be to play it, right? So you don't want to, you know, convince your friend to play it and then they have to, you know, grind the whole story before they can get there. So we'll give you all the info that you would need to successfully enjoy Jade Shadows. We're also hoping to do another clan event with it. Mm. Uh, so to give you some, a, another way just to earn, you know, arcane farm and other things similar to how clan we Clan event, this, uh, very nice. Cry. So this is a... Sometime between, <laughs> it's definitely not in March because that's Dante, so that's a write off. <laughs> Certainly not going to be ready in April. So, sometime between May, June, and Tenocon. We'll okay, we're getting a <laughs> cinematic <laughs> quest Perfect. in Confidence. June. <laughs> that's, that's what I understand. It's fine, but yeah, we're excited for this one. And that's Jade, which means, does anyone know what that means if we have a Warframe that starts with a J? <laughs> There's only one letter we don't have. What's the letter? You. J is the, the second last letter we need. Rub's very. Uh, well, like, like I thought they were talking yeah. about Sticky like corners, the jade light, you, you know. With every, oh, I can't wait! Oh my god. That yeah. looks interesting. She looks interesting. Right. That'll be the day. I don't know anything about that warframe, <laughs> but she's she's she looks interesting. Umbra. Mind you, I'm looking at this through like Excalibur, like my. Uh, you probably win in court. But in this court. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's Excalibur. Case. <laughs> All right. So mind you, Probably I did not have Excalibur beforehand, so let's see if I got an Excalibur from that. The alphabet. The alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Numerical alphabet. 1999. Oh, what's that? You tell me, Reb. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what is 1999? This is a Warframe update that you are going to learn about from now at TennoCon. We're really excited to bring you into a very different style of update, but it's still core Warframe in every way. That, that I promise you. Uh, it is indeed a Warframe update. 
the setting, the story, the characters, like any you know, Warframe update, they're gonna be new. Arthur, of course, is the, the what we're calling him, the, the poster man. <laughs> Take Excalibur, our poster boy. And then Excalibur is Excalibur. He is not Arthur. They are different they are uh, characters. Different people, yeah. so people uh, Arthur is a person from Arsenal, our timeline Excalibur that got a It'll partial what happens in your meetings, uh, uh, infestation with the out, Warframe bar. A Warframe a, infestation. Uh, a major update that we're that we're working on, and um, like all our major updates, it's going to be risky. Uh, it's going to be very narrative focused, and we're bringing as much new as we can. And today we're here to talk a little bit about it and show you some things. Uh, and then of course at Tenocon, even more. But we, we won't leave you hungry today that much. I. I I, I guarantee you we will still be hungry. That's just how these things work. I, I'm just, as like someone kind of on the periphery of it, I just, I'm kind of blown away by the, the size of it, just the amount of content that's being made already. Oh and boy. I think even just that's not a good sign. A bit of an undersell for... I just don't want the, anyone to like leave a headline, Warframe make yeah. another game or something. No, it's like, not, it's not a single player, <laughs> unless some people thought it was a single player no. spin off. I think some not. people did think it was like Warframe 2 or something. It's actually Warframe 1999. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Bad yeah. numbers. And it, yeah, it's really, it's going really to be a different, weird, fun chapter in Warframe. Of course, it'll be free. Uh, those nipples stay on and. <laughs> Why? Them, uh, Why? Well, which is. Mm. Customizable. No <laughs> yeah, well, we do what we must. Delicious. Uh, but yeah, we have a <laughs> we have a, um, a special guest. Is this a special guest time? I don't or, know if our special guest uh, is. Is he, he might, is he awake? He literally. Okay, can Ezekiel yell, now. wake up, Ben? Three. Ben. <laughs> One. Wake up, Ben. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, he is. Everybody, Ben Star. Star. Yay, ben Star. Star. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. He's Welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and what brings you here oh, just today? So if you didn't know, um, I'm here to talk about the nap that okay. I just had. Oh. oh, my God, it was nice. Did we bore you? Um, no, you didn't bore me. You exhausted me. Ah. Um, Wonderful. We've been spending okay. a lot of time together recently. Sorry about that. No, it's been amazing. Thank you for having me. Welcome. But why have we been spending time with you? Ben? Because if we've you been don't know. we've been working on Warframe 1999. Mm. Um, uh -huh. I'm very excited to get to work on this. Um, when you messaged me and said, "Would you be interested?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I would." Um, <laughs> and it has been a complete joy from start to finish. Um, you guys have embraced me. Thank you to everyone who's okay. Come up so to they have they outsourced the it a little bit. Of I don't know so how to feel about, about that. Um, you are an incredible fan base, and the support that you've already shown me, even before you've seen anything, has been incredible. So I, I really War want to Warframe thank you. community forever and yeah. ever. My what, are, what are these my enemies? enemies. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? And now you're here. <laughs> and now I'm here. And so I'm friend. done, everyone. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. <laughs> uh, to put okay, that into whatever. context, you're the voice of Arthur. I'm the voice of Arthur. Who we see here. Yes. yes. Um, so Arthur is a very mysterious character who I am bound by NDA to say very little about. <laughs> <laughs> um, tiny bit. I would love but to get into voice I acting, though. I need, the here's the thing. I haven't been committing enough. I, I, I've been spreading my paint too thin because, like, I'm, like, exploring kind doing of so many projects at the moment. Between... The humanity I just need to do a deep dive uh, into one or the other. Not human, I think, is really exciting. And um, yeah, it's been it's been a real treat. He's really cool. He's so cool. <laughs> he is so, um, <laughs> so cool. I think the problem is I'm not very cool, so I get to play like really cool people and pretend. That's the best thing about being an actor. Um, and it, it it this is such an amazing update. It's massive. The scope, uh, what you guys want to do, I think, is really amazing from what you've let me know about um and i'm hello I'm really star more do you want me to do we want to show it now what's the what's the you're, what's you're the, the boss vibe? we're looking at to you for direction <laughs> i am actually uh needing more time because it's only 334 so <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so we need, so we need to talk about some other stuff um he's really sexy <laughs> yeah. uh, but he could be you know it's, it's he's just jet stream you know, sand like, that's there's what he looks humanity like to it. i think that's what i've or, what draws me to characters. We're, there we've we go. always spoken about how whatever we want to do, we want to make this character relatable. He's going to be a badass. He has a samurai sword and <laughs> like 
He looks amazing. And those of you who played Whispers in the Wall, you got the first opportunity to play mm -hmm. him, and you heard some of my... I need a poem more in this room. Um, <laughs> so thank you for yeah. that. Thank you for the hers. Yeah, you're so yeah. welcome. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of... <laughs> um, it's really cool. He sounds very um, different when so he's doing his voice. So you kind of get an idea of what he's going to be like. Um, but he's not a, he's alone in that um he no, I'm not, is, but he's I'm not talking to someone that. did anyone pick up uh and this is the opposite of the q a this is our q a to you <laughs> if you played whispers in the walls did you hear something and feel free to yell it out if you know there's we're among friends here like wait do i, I heard a bag the back there hmm. Hmm. So we're gonna like take you with us. We're gonna show you. Proto so it's probably Mag, Mag, but not till we're yeah. ready. So Mag, Excalibur, and I feel like we're ready now. You just don't wait. Did I not <laughs> build the ceramic dagger? I thought I built the ceramic dagger. The what? Eh, I guess. I guess. Yeah. But yeah. we should talk a little bit about what a proto like. So Excalibur is a Warframe, and Arthur Excuse is me? a proto frame. Mm -hmm. So just to start giving you like, if you're here and you work on uh. a wiki or something, and you want to start, you know, uh, doing some seed pages there, uh, proto frames will be introduced. Perhaps you've seen some scribbles on Albert and Trotty's walls in the uh, in Trotty tile Whatever. set. I guess so I'll pick up little, a ceramic deck. I thought I was going to have it ready for and today. We were talking earlier about how they're very my fault. They're my bad, guys. Different. Yes. Thing. Like there's Excalibur and then there's right. Arthur and they're meant to and be. And then there's Ben and then not Arthur. So if me? Arthur says something you don't agree with in game. Yeah, uh, yeah. just come to me. Um, <laughs> there'll be a P.O. box that you can send all of your complaints and questions to. <laughs> and, which, and, I, and I'm really okay. not going to respond to I guess we're doing one. ceramic dagger next that. week. I think I have the one fun at least. To me ever. <laughs> yeah, no, we spoke about that yesterday. Yeah. 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 This is deep lore people don't need to know about. Yeah, we talked about Santa yesterday. We talked about, and this is, we've got to kill some time. Yeah. Well, Megan loves Christmas. I think this is really great stuff. It's really worth the Warframe no, live dev stream. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. It, where did you send your message to Santa when you were a kid? Did you send it to like a little po we had a little post box at the supermarket where I send it? <laughs> okay, okay, now we're going to do the. But we're happy to announce we have a Santa microtransaction yeah. for Warframe coming. <laughs> and I think um, that's what oof. we really wanted to push was all of the microtransactions. Micro yeah, and you, you actually Arthur will be silent in the quest unless you pay for the Ben yeah. line. One dollar per line. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, because that's and soul frames the same, right? Like. Oh man, don't get me in trouble. Okay. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Santa, we brought a gift to you. We did. Did we? Yes. Yes, we're allowed to talk about that now. Now that I filled it seamlessly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, we wanted to show you something good. really cool that we've been working on because um, when we we're talking you? about humanity, we're allowed to. When we're talking about humanity, you don't, you don't res understand and can perceive humanity without reacting to Okay, others. I need more things. Arthur, so I guess I'll go get some more things. He's certainly not alone. And uh, today we wanted to show you a really cool thing. Am I allowed to? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a little sneak peek of um, what you might experience in the coming months and years. <laughs> months and years? All right, play the video. All right, let, let's, let me take a good look at this real quick. Okay. He's spinning his sword. That's not good for the blade, but okay. Oh, is he missing an eye? So, you're coming, Owie. Arthur. Yeah, we knew that she was Japanese just from her name. Of course not. She's fairly curvy. Not sure how much I like all those things on her head, though. Are we getting a bike? I think people would like bikes over a surfboard, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it for 50 more minutes. No, uh, shout out to obviously the team back home. They really rallied together to put that all together. Mm -hmm. The but the bike? What was yeah? What's can we talk about that? a bike? That's yeah, let's talk about the bike. Cycle. Let's talk about the bike. So atomic cycle, the atomic cycle. It's gonna be something we'll talk a lot more about at ten. Because like, okay, I don't, I don't sure. recommend Adam. that anyone so ever ways. rides a bicycle or like a motorcycle. Oh, is that right? But. It well, doesn't change the fact that, like, in video so. games, they're pretty badass. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be something that will sure, be we'll very clear to you how we're going to integrate that into 1999. We'll grab this. Um, 
and I'm very, very excited for that as a little bit of a, you yeah. know, just call me a gearhead. I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually been on a motorcycle. I'm not allowed. So this is the it. problem is also we want to say so much. I know. Kind of calm. It's yeah. like, don't worry. Trust us, guys. It's really cool. Yeah. You'll it's love joy. It. I don't uh, think but, joy yeah, has so that is, uh, Clairvo, that's a very right? important part of the, the, the foundation of 1999, what you just saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think it's the stuff that I've seen and that you've allowed me to be a part of makes me very, very excited. And I think it's the Warframe that you know and love, but just ever so slightly different. And I so we're getting more proto frames. It we know that for sure. Always a little bit like too dolled up for my appreciation, but, but if you like it, you like it. Experience will be in 1999. I, I, I think I like uh, Arthur not, more, Duvary, more so at the moment. <laughs> I'm alive, but like it, it's, it's, it's Warframe. Mm -hmm. But Duvary's obviously, awesome. So obviously, we have Ben Starr as Arthur and Meg Awi, as you heard in there, is voiced by Alpha Takashi. Oh, so if you oh, played Cyberpunk 2077, uh, she has a yes, yeah. Cyberpunk. Uh, she has her voice in there as well. So it was really good cool to work with her. And you'll so back. hear sure. a lot more about her. Uh, That's right. Yes. Yes, and the, the designs and such to come. Okay. Are, you know, we have lots you of know what? Road ahead Sure, I'll get the stug. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All right. Nourishing terror. We are on to the Q&A portion <laughs> of this stream. Whoa. Yeah, we're a bit early. So if anyone wants okay. to do is there a any questions here? to us, anyone on this panel, there is a yeah. microphone right there. Go ahead and line up. No, there's oh, no I see hands shooting up. And there's also a microphone on the other side if you want to. Yeah, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Lines. And we have our uh, staff there. That I'm going to try to complete yeah, this because I'm going to be trying to unlock other incarnate adapters. We're kind of being jokers, but we are so super, super excited to do live Q&A because oh my gosh back in the day okay this is going to take some time no that's good it. we have time <laughs> no our dev streams used to be all about Q&A so mm -hmm. doing it live is a very very fresh uh, fresh vibe so uh, you there in the is that a Revengeance shirt is that the Uniqlo Metal Gear shirt uh, hell oh. yeah dude <laughs> yep what is your question Raiden for life when will my man Caliban get some buffs? Oh. <laughs> I bet I bet half the room's gonna sit down because everyone has that question. That's a strong response. I know. Um, <laughs> to be honest, if I could say something now, I would. But he is very much under the uh, the, the the gaze of Pablo. We'll call it. Can we just say, start making promises for Pablo? No, for Pablo. Pablo. Make some promises uh, if Pablo for Pablo, were here, please. He'd say, Ask me at Tenocon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for your question. You. Great shirt. Great shirt. All right, we're over here now. Hi. Whoa. Hello. What is your question? Okay. Are any of the, the other Warframes going to be getting reworks like Loki's? Um, Loki's we not are getting a rework. The Inaros yet. rework with Dante Unbound. We actually do have our sights set on someone. I won't say who. And then Come Loki, on. we actually aren't considering reworking because we're worried about. Uh, uh, XM well, I'm going to speak for Pablo a little bit when because him and I talked about this, and it was kind of the. The meta of Loki's peak versus Warframe now, if we went into a direction that would take away a lot of his identity, we wouldn't be happy. So it's kind of like as simple as we don't really have any great ideas at the same time. And because of that, not a priority, especially since some other frames are a little more bruised, let's say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry for the Loki lovers out there, but no rework is planned or ideated. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going back to this microphone. Hello, hi. But, well, before you ask a question, I would like, because I think it's be fine. Can every person strike a pose when the light lands? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that would be fun to like, surprise us, like make it fun. Make, yeah. You don't have to, but yeah. also maybe. <laughs> Should I strike a pose right now? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, good. that's like that's the good. default pose for All like right, everyone. So my question has to do with like the newest trailer. I saw Meg and I was like, she looks so cool. Uh, what inspired that design? If you can answer that. Liger. L Liger Li a lot of work into the Liger. Yeah. Liger. Uh, yeah. Liger did uh, Arthur and Owie. Uh, we had a very, we have a, you'll see more, pro well, I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, we had a very specific vision for, for those two proto frames. Uh, Arthur being sort of the, <laughs> the Boy Scout that we're calling the Boy Man. Man, man Scout. <laughs> scout, no, man. Scout, scout Man. Scout Man. Scout Man. Scout. Scout. Not Boy Scout. Man, man scout, scout. Which is totally weird without context. <laughs> uh, and then Owie, we really wanted um, to, to bring a version of Mag as the proto frame that we felt could just deliver on a nice contrast to... to so Arthur. she's supposed so to be more rough around the edges. And there okay. is a, there's a unit theme. Yeah. Which is why they kind of have military gear yes. on them. Yeah. 
So if you were to see <laughs> potentially other proto frame designs, they that might Tenocon they might share other. Oh, we're getting more things. proto frames. So, so uh, are are we getting a proto frame for all right. frames going forward? Okay. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to get a skin that. Like for that. that we can just wear? Can we just run around as Arthur? If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there's been so, a taste for pseudo exalted weapons in their. Uh, basically, we're traveling back in time to uh, 1999. And then my second question is, a lot of the later game players, um, most of what you're doing is trading. So any thoughts on improvements as for the ease of use in the trading? Like I would like a, I would like a like grand exchange kind of situation. Uh, the stat stick and buff question, is, that's basically a, you cannot separate those two in my mind. Like if we touch stat sticks, we would have to buff the exalt, or the pseudo exalted, or we would have to treat them as true exalted. We have not done anything beyond talk about it. So I could pull up a Slack conversation with Pablo, like, are we going to do anything about stat sticks? I think it's really opaque that a player can't get the most out of Korra if they don't know to use like the mm -hmm. ceramic, ceramic dagger with the incarnate, with the ribbon, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and that just doesn't feel good to, to have hidden. but. We're not really going to do anything anytime soon, to be quite honest, uh, because we don't have a great idea. But if we did, we would certainly not leave. If you want uh, ideas, I think you just have to, you have like millions of people to talk to. I don't <laughs> think trading, like having not right having now, ideas is a is, good excuse become, at this point. Like you said, it's an end game uh, garden where people are doing ribbon trading, relic trading. I you. think. If we increase the visibility on filters, it might help like 1% of the players. But otherwise, we've shopped around the idea of having a separate ribbon trade chat at the very least. But in terms of what the functionality Warframe market offers, in terms of like offline or, or, or if, if effectively like item posting, we haven't thought too much about. So please just have a grand exchange for like resources. Okay to your very good questions. I got a thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Spotlight over here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Very right. good. Uh, um, little cringy. So this is mainly a question about the drifter. Um, oh. I know on the profile, when you check the player's profile, you can see their operator, but you can't really see the drifter. Is there going to be any changes to let people see their drifter maybe sometime? Yeah, soon? we probably should, because ever since the Debiri Paradox, there's yeah. no point in hiding them. Yeah, yeah so, for sure. So, dear Digital Extremes team at home, <laughs> if you're watching, yeah. the drifter flag is no longer needed, so sayeth the Boston cohort. I mean, you can also have I mean, all three at once, too. You have your operator to oh. and your Warframe, maybe. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Drop See, like, here. just talk to your community. Um, I guess That's... a bonus question. Maybe uh, new outfits for Drifter, too? Like, Ooh. maybe a nice oh. trench coat? No. We're, nice. um, the Dante... Oh, that is nice. <laughs> really Dante. The, the Dante... Of, oh, you're talking about Entrati's trench coat. Maybe. Oh. oh. What if you could have that in... Never mind. Um, uh, uh, I right. saw something. I saw something too. I don't know what I saw. Um, <laughs> there's two drifter outfits that are coming upsized from in the Dante Unbound. Yeah, update. like the operator version can. Fit yeah, in your we're, we're we're putting two operator outfits in the drifter machine. <laughs> okay, so we're getting more <laughs> like more I don't know. Yeah. It would be interesting to get Entrati's right. outfit. Yes. All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I love how these guys are just like Hello. on this. First off, Mr. Star, I just want to let you know that I'm a huge fan. Your performance as Clive Rossfield in FF16 was phenomenal. Okay, a little bit of Thank you. brown nosing is My okay, I guess. My actual question now is, so I've been playing Warframe for about 10 years, humble. <laughs> I mean, and as I flattering as that would be, for, right, for them to call me, like, okay, there are plans you, we, you have, like, millions of people, you just, you don't need, like, a single, like, a small like team of people to come up with ideas, right? So, starting this week, I'm going to be a lot more vocal in the, um, a cool angle for us to in more. both like, I think the Helldiver and Warframe communities. So I'm just go I'm going to be primarily just posting on their Reddit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of like an um, actual tactical reward or incentive, I'm not going to. Um, well, we'll see. I'm not going to advertise like my posts. Right now, but otherwise, but I, like, I don't know. I'm going to be posting privately primarily, Thank so you. just keep an eye on that and keep engaged. Because like I I don't think like. I, I really don't think Whoa. it's necessary to. That's not a pose. That's a dance. Anyways. When, when's and where? <laughs> He's nervous. When's infested liches, Meg? Oh. Oh. My God. 
Okay, maybe we should at least give the children a reprieve and say watch Tenocon. <laughs> you just said it, so watch Tenocon. <laughs> 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 Je- Steve, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> like, Infested Liches are coming watch with 99. That's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Metal Gear oh. shirt number two. Oh my god. So Metal Gear. That's the second Metal Gear shirt. Come on, so, reload. I'm seeing this Warframe 1999. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a little game on the PS3 uh, called Dark Sector. Oh. And uh, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of an influence here. And like Excalibur is like kind of your guy's mascot in a way. <laughs> you can take, yeah, side. yeah. You got to take that one, Jeff, because you're the OG. You were here. Sector. Yes. We were just talking about that kind of today about how when we made Warframe, like when we first, like, it was kind of a desperation, and we had to make something to survive, and we dipped into the pool of content that we had that we never released. Mm-hmm. So a lot of what, Warf- what Warframe was built on was the sci-fi version of Dark Sector that never came to be. Yeah, it was very um, clear so from the very beginning like that like Digital Extremes was really desperate when they made Warframe. Warframe 99 um, it's like they, they basically won the lottery when it came to how successful the game became. Yeah. And then they completely screwed the pooch kind of like the, on plenty of execution. The, the but like because they were able to maintain a lot of community and like have a conversation about a lot of things. Keeping the dream alive. One day. So yeah, very. Yeah, thanks for spotting that. That's a that's a great. Very accurate. Is is there like a plan for a remaster? No, no. No. 1999 is the remaster. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. You see sled. X, I'm only theta, theta, zero, spotlight over here. N, and X. Oh! <laughs> He's meditating. Okay. Oh, oh this will be a good question. So my question is, one. you've already introduced some of the proto frames. Is there going to be Maybe that one. fashion proto frames? <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, yes. <laughs> and that's all I'll say on that. Very yeah. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh. oh, a little Albert and Trotty. Um, is Great Prime ever going to come <laughs> back <laughs> since you're doing the update to the bunny ears? Oh, oh, oh you're, you're keeping a list of all the things that we've <laughs> joked about? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I a think bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that was an April Fool's joke, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, anything. Jeff, can we, can we bring Great Prime back? Great Prime back. <laughs> you didn't listen to me about the ears, so. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, I think it's confirmed. Oh, <laughs> thanks, yes. Yeah. If, if, if we can get Arthur to say a line about it, then we'll. Yeah, I'll just say it and put it in the game. Yeah, it's perfect. We work. It's it's a collaborative, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there's no reason not to, other than. That's a good callback, though. Yeah. Great prime. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, but. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I see well, a Leon Kennedy jacket in the dark. Oh, oh my god. Oh. For you and Meg Reb. Um, so oh, yeah. question, two questions actually. Um, is Oplink ever gonna come back to the game in oh, some form? What's Oplink? Oh. Oh. Scarlet Spear, R.I.P. Yeah. Oh. It was so cool, it, like during, when you showed it last TennoCon, and I was like, what happened? Right <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in, not in the way you might think, but it's certainly, it is not, six feet under at the office like it's in an urn and it's being like on life support it's definitely not (laughs) dead and gone Uh, i can't say anything other than that right now but if you liked it and you liked how it made you feel when you were playing connected to another squad with squad link op link uh we're 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 experimenting really early days with something that we hope you would love if that's if it works out in the tests we'll talk more about it um at tenocon but it's certainly not did you say it was in an urn yeah that's pretty dead (laughs) <laughs> Someone didn't play Baldur's Gate 3. Ashes well. can be... <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's not, it's not earned dead. It's... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I just love the idea Same. of like all my like Tano friends, 16, everyone just mm-hmm. in space, on the ground fighting. It would be so cool. I know. It, it is... It is it, it's not... Okay. It's not totally dead. It's mostly dead, but not totally. <laughs> that's all, that's all I can <laughs> <laughs> second question, just one more. Oh, um, so, oh wait, hold oh, on. Second question. Oh no, oh no, 
I didn't take up too much of my time. Um, so what? Did anyone ever actually go to space? No, you guys they took had the money. They, they took, took money. the money and ran. Uh, yeah, yeah. As good far as I know. Good for them. Good for them. Honestly, yeah. 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 They made the right choice. I don't blame them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now the pose. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. First time I've seen so, that. Hi. Right, so, uh, the question that I have is with. The, yeah, that's all, the, all the lore for Warframe, uh, all the, the characters, the uh, everything that you have. Have you, has anybody at Digital Extremes ever considered making a tabletop game for it, like a TTRPG or even a war game? Uh, yeah. So the galaxy of like minis yeah, that you that. could have. I mean, you could. I mean, look at Games Workshop. Why? Why, why is this the question? Uh, this is like a nerd. Oh, okay. Uh, Go uh, ahead and nerd uh, out, man. I'd rather give money to you than them any day of the week. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> microtransactions. Um, yeah, microtransactions. <laughs> yeah, like you know, like let me let me buy my you know like Excalibur what with whatever you know weapons assortment. Um, so if it's either, I just wonder if you guys ever consider this it. one. There's like I know one of our content creators is making a homebrew D and D thing uh, using their, I guess not D and D. I don't know if we're allowed to say. Well, like it's homebrew, so it's you know. Um, we TTRPG. 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 We haven't. It's, it's definitely not this one. But we're all big though. fans of that type of entertainment. It could be. It's just a matter of... It's probably this one. Do we have the time? <laughs> like, like, that stalker update probably won't come out for another year. <laughs> but yeah, it's a time thing. We love it. it uh, we would endorse unofficial and for fun and fan versions of it, but until we actually take the plunge mm -hmm. to, to take it seriously, we probably won't have time this year. But okay. I, I agree with uh, you. Yeah. Second question. Uh, have you ever considered kit frames? <gasps> like... Like, like the Zaw or like the kit guns um, where you build your own thing or the actually, amps, except it's a frame, so you get the you pick your own chassis, maybe, you pick your own your optics, yeah, and you can build a, your own like your frame. Okay, frame you can stop yours. talking now, Mr. Mickey had a concept for that a long yeah. time ago, a fr like a, a modular frame, but I think they're yeah, so we have considered it, it just it didn't seem shippable, I think. It was scope scary. Scope, yeah. Like, yeah. we wouldn't release a Warframe for a year if we did that, which I guess, like, at the end of the day, you get a whole bunch of Warframes because of modularity, oh. but, yeah. Yeah, you get, like, infinite frames that way. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> it's the Thanks perfect you. exploit, infinite microtransactions. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. oh! Stop talking about microtransactions. That's <laughs> actually bad. I know you. You know me? I've never seen you before. <laughs> oh, except online. Except okay. online. Hmm. Uh, okay. Who are you? Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, what are you doing okay, I'm here? Missing the you X, my dream. Right, so. <laughs> um, so, I was a little curious, being that you know you took over as creative director. Are you personally happy with the way that the movement so it's works this in one. Warframe at this very moment, or do you find it at all stagnant at all? The classic bullet jump into the roll into the. <laughs> Are you asking Hover. me pre or post sticky corners? Because that's a very loaded <laughs> question. Uh, post sticky corners, uh. I would say. And the, the, just secondarily, also, I'm not so. super familiar with it, but is Soul Frame going to be taking a lot of the movement from it could be Warframe, this or is it very right? different? So. I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, it very much be. the inversion of Warframe, inversion. Deli okay. deli deliberately. It's, it's going to be a slower no, pace, can't be. more thoughtful kind it of It literally can't be. Yeah. The combat. I always thought it'd be interesting to explore wall running in its original. Like, state sure, let the nerd talk, like but it's like limited amount project. of airtime, right? But otherwise, I love it. I love. I think it's the best moving playing game in the third person space. Uh, I think it's incredible. Bullet yeah. jumping, aim gliding. Once you get good at it, it's hard to go back to games that don't have bullet jumping and aim it gliding. Be this For one. instance, every other game I play and try and bullet jump in doesn't work. <laughs> uh, but but the wall running I think does have like uh, if it, if there was anything I was going to say like oh maybe we could bring the wall running in a mm -hmm. 3.0 I would explore that. We we had wall That's running in 1.0 though. I could have thought of was oh. the because otherwise you I'm do, very content with it. I you was do curious. haunt my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I was just curious if you liked it. Thank you very much. Walt, Thanks. thank you. Uh, oh, oh, he's a thinker. He's a thinker. <laughs> he's a no thinker. question, just posing. <laughs> yeah, yep, no, no questions at all. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, somebody uh, asked my dark sector question before, so oh. I'm going oh. to pivot into a two-parter. Oh. Um, the first question is actually so frame related. Right. Um, I remember in Tenocon, you talked about how you were actively so avoid the grittier fantasy. Uh, cozy okay. fantasy was the... So uh, this one's a problem, and this one's a problem. A lot of the way that, like, even in the trailer, the way that the it character has to be talks, this, right? it's very... Um, I'm going to flub the saying, but it's the dynamic... Uh, Iambic, 
I am a pentameter. Thank you. There so we go. It has to be this. Feels one. like there's a lot of other things like mm -hmm. almost Shakespearean it things has to it. Has to be that, right? So, um, how did that work in terms of drawing from different inspiration? Um, yeah, like we're. I don't know. Steve and I kind of were just. It was hard for us to. Apparently, a lot of people don't to, like, like Steve. Kind of start something. Something new. We're not so going to make any comments. Spent a lot of time talking about all of that. Uh, Figuring out what the themes were. That oh we no, it's the why. It's a why. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. As what we were like, kind of leaving. Not this. With Warframe, um, so it's we just this. we really wanted to talk about. Um, you know, as we were talking about it, we just got really attached to the ideas of uh, the player as um, a healer force against you know the kind of the the conflicts that are happening in this world. Um, the simplified is you know nature versus technology. Um, but we right, let, wanted let's grab this to kind first. of lean into like the romance a little bit of it, not not the romance mm. like Baldur's Gate, like oh. romanticism, like the art movement. <laughs> yeah, the um, art movement. Yeah. <laughs> not that, but I don't know if you listen, if you if you're in Preludes, there's some lines in there that might. Oh, I'm not there in Preludes. So that's thanks. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> yeah. get in line. Funnily enough, that does uh, yeah. lead into my second question. If you could go on a date with a Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> Me, me personally, um, it's Grendel. Uh, oh. lo love me, yeah. love me pub, yeah. love me Messiter love Prime, me <laughs> love me pulverize, simple yeah. as. Uh, can, I ask, uh, can I ask what you would do on that date? No, you cannot. We would just eat. We would just no, eat. No, 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 no. What would you do on the date? You would go out for food. Eat. Just eat. eat some food. Eat. Eat. Just eat. eat. Just Jeff, roll around in a public setting. I don't know. Yeah, great. No, that's what I wanted to hear. Jeff. Oh man, I was not ready. Be. <laughs> be careful. Yeah, be careful. This is a trap. Do you need more time? You can refuse to answer. How ancestral would it be if I said, like, Excalibur? <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you can date yourself. That's fine. Yeah. No, no. That's not my That's so Raphael coded. <laughs> no, that's his kid, though. <laughs> that's a Baldur's Gate joke for all you tabs out there. Uh, Meg, who are you going to date? Let, let, let. Who am I dating? Yeah. <sighs> Probably Valkyr. <laughs> that's your own. Oh, uh, see? Uh, that, you just followed me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I knew I was going to say that. It's my girl. Who are you gonna date? Don't say Lotus. Why choose? Oh, okay. Okay. No, that was a cop out. Who are you dating? Can you can you pick one for me? Can you can you give me three that I need to choose from? I'm gonna like just like I'm I'm gonna you're gonna be with Mirage. I think there's just a. I think it's decided. It's Mirage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would I do? Uh, circus act. Okay. And are we are we at the circus whilst I'm doing the circus act? You are the circus. I am the circus. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> I think I can have a All thing right, up spotlight there. over here, I think. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Um, so for everyone, what was your favorite part of the, the development for the 99? Project? You can tell that this uh, this ben, person is like. Friend, oh, what the heck? Archer. I didn't know you could spawn oh. up here. There's some really cool stuff that we haven't announced yet. Um, ab about him, and we did some we did some lines the other day, and I thought they were really <laughs> <laughs> they're cool. Um, no, I very my, nice, my part very about nice, little star. Is how yeah, we talked about Infested Lich just a little bit. That I like to play. There is something inherently lovable. But like, I'm pretty sure that, that they're gonna drop a in uh, 99. Human being, despite his. Ex it's the kind of like rough exterior, and the one thing that we're really leaning into is like uh, how we're we also dealing with proto infested, that, right? That, that gruff, rough. He's gonna absolutely. It's, do it's like the perf, to you, like the. Uh, but la it's gonna be the new newest point at which infested are. But he's relevant. gonna be nice about it. But he's gonna be oh, nice about it. Okay. He's gonna That'd kiss you nice. afterwards. Oh. Um, um, <laughs> but th that it's been and. Yeah, he's he, he's very cool, and you are giving me a lot of you are giving me a lot of free reign to play in that space, and I very much appreciate um, how much fun we're having. <laughs> and there's some really cool stuff that you're doing with it yep. that I've very much enjoyed. Close contagion. We got motorcycles. Yeah. We got proto frames. 
Yeah, like I said, I'm very <laughs> jealous. Like I keep trying to sneak in uh, like things to work on with you. Okay, I got the ampus. We allow what it, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a, a very interesting space for us because I, I think it's quite sacred to take a silent protagonist game like Warframe and introduce characters in the proto-frame concept. So I'm treating it as you're like a saying that right after we have the as children. We're not being flippant about it. They you are never their shut characters. up they unless you not. turn off their like, ability to talk. Mag, that's Proto Meg, Owie, that's Proto Excalibur, Arthur. They are different characters. So we're probably going to get the that, original that, trio. That line allows yes, I'm currently doing Daviri. For how you as a player interact with your things and then the world itself. And I think that is, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. Is the ways in which you're exploring that dynamic, I think is really very cool. It's very 90s. Very 90s. So very there's 90s. a lot to look forward to there. They are still their own characters. Yes, that you will learn a lot about. <laughs> at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hi. Um, I just have a question for Reb, and then a general question. Reb, what are the things that plague you? The things that plague me? Oh my god, what a deep question. Oh my god. Yeah. Probably cross save. Plagues the nightmares. Uh, Good thing we've still got a while. <laughs> Should never, uh, probably... I find like... that my plagues are defended by a supportive team, and any time I get a, a bite or an ailment, Ooh. I'm never alone. So uh, for me, my, my, my plagues... <laughs> They don't get to. They don't have a long lifespan because I'm supported by amazing people that support. Very good security. answer. You know, okay. obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, it's nice. not true. I'm gonna be a little <laughs> lame on Rebecca's behalf. Uh, I've genuinely never seen someone care so much. Oh. So it's like I, I could. She's so you, they, they, like, you can say whatever about like how much they care, Thanks, right? Yeah. It, it's the, the actions that I'm more is, concerned about. When is right? my girl Titania getting buffs? Oh, that is a controversial question because she's quite, um, you know, I could see her tribute being a bit more user friendly in some ways with, with this a little hard to remember what each buff does. Mm. And I mean, there's other, other AOE. I need to do this a, a, a little bit. So I'm going to go fishing. So in if I had to focus on an ability, it would be tribute. But I think her, uh, her four, I mean, those decks Pixia. They do kill. <laughs> they sure do. But yeah, maybe her tribute would be the first thing to receive tribute. I don't know. The yeah, problem with Titania, she has Aww. two no, abilities that do the same me. thing, Makes right? Noted. Thank you. You basically you. use one to oh. uh, generate more energy. Hey. Oh. That's a barrel. So I'm looking for Mawfangs. How many Mawfangs do I have? I can't really see. Is it a Warframe sweater? You're up it's a Warframe backpack. backpack! I knew I recognized it. I got two fangs. Wow. What is your question, my friend? I'm gonna be here this for a while. This kind of falls in line with this, I need previous like questions fangs. asked uh, about uh, who would you date or which Warframe oh, okay. would you date. Uh, I love this. And thing. that is. Are you gonna ask if they're pregnant? Able to get pregnant? Which NPC do you think that you would be most likely to be besties with? Ooh. NPC besties. Okay, no. I have an answer already. Arthur. <laughs> you already. No, no, just because he's really great. Um, Fibonacci. Oh. I wouldn't be besties with Fibonacci. Nice. We love you, Neil. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who wouldn't want to have have a great friendship with? Because he cheats with Comey. Fish. You know. <laughs> I just feel like if you don't have a cranky fish as a friend, okay. what's the point? Uh, let's type in. Uh, I think for me, I'll call him an I love Ordis. I think, Aww, especially like little little trash can Ordis. I think he's just the cutest thing, and I think we'd be best friends. I think okay. we'd just be besties. Who who says Ordis say as their answer? <laughs> <laughs> Lotus. Yay! No, I'm never joking, Lotus. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm cool with Lotus. Okay, right. yeah, I have I'm five, cool so fine. I need fifteen. I'm gonna. <laughs> I only got four. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is canon. Okay, I know. Uh, that's why I gotta be very careful. Uh, I think I would. Take, uh, so there's a difference between caring. Oh, it, I'm going to assume that was uh, a actually, comment yeah, made about yeah. like the whole caring thing because I'm Ducks. also watching the stream and playing a game and looking at chat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you for your caring is uh, no matter how much you care about something, it, it doesn't oh! like say a lot if they oh, do don't know? like if they just leave a lot of things oh hanging god. and drying, right? Uh, before I ask my question, I wanted to say hi, Leon. Hi, Emily. Hi, Mental. I made it. Oh, you made it! <laughs> Anyways, uh, my question today like, is... Now, I'll explain after this Q&A section. Dead, yep. But uh, if Tension could have his head crushed in by Era and later reappear in Duveri, where's my treatment for Vesso? Mm. Come on, like, Call's getting all the love. What about Vesso? 
No one cares about Vesso. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So Vessel's we canonically love, dead. We you know. Sure we know that Pico, now. Though. Velcro. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I don't know. Everybody has different names. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. So Vessel's dead. We know uh, Vessel's dead. Very serious. Mm -hmm. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have y'all seen Josh Brolin smile? <laughs> I just have just one question. When can we get his brother before you get to the letter U? When can you get his what? His brother. His brother? He's got a brother? Like, yeah. that starts with a U? No, oh. the V. Oh, Virgil! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Devil May Cry right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, we, we have motorcycles, so we're kind of, maybe the bike can be named Virgil. Yeah, we could. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, maybe. And then you, you name your bike. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't ride Virgil in Warframe. <laughs> oh boy, should not have said that. Okay, my question is about clans. Oh, it's if there's going to be more touch-ups on either inter-clan inter interactions, because right now all of it really is just research or doing operations. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if there's going to be more for that, or if you guys are looking more into the future and looking at clan to clan interactions because we haven't really had that since like solar rails oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah solar rails i forgot yeah. about those okay so in the i don't like morgue, solar rails the squad link in the, the urn, urn and then, <laughs> clan, uh, and then no, no, no. Uh, we are do, we are trying to do more clan events as like the first step into uh Social yeah. system reignition. reignition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that they they work for the very by the book tasks you can do in a clan. There's opportunity there that we just have not had time to do properly. But I can tell you that in action, the clan event returns, trophies, rallying your players is our focus. Mm -hmm. Uh, no leaderboards, so there's no like clan v clan or clan and clan stuff yet. But that that's like a true and real and factual answer for clans. But based on the question, I'll definitely try to do more. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have time for like, oh my Whoa. God. <laughs> wow. We'll do like two more each side maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much time we have. That's more? how much time. So okay. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> the big timer. Got it. <laughs> so, so real quick, I just wanted to say I haven't played either of these games, but now I'm very interested. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yay. The non player. Okay. Um, but I got 10 now. I just now. wanted to say I love your performance as Clive uh, in Final Fantasy. And I was going to see what it would potentially take to get a signature. I have, oh. I have cash. I have a picture oh. Of oh. Do it! Oh. <laughs> That's very cute. A little, oh like, God. a little silly. I don't know if that's like <laughs> violating <laughs> like Q and A etiquette though. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. Thank you. You I, I don't please. go to oh, physical uh, events. We'll do, we'll do the question over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Clive's. In, uh, well, like I don't even show my face hey guys, on the internet, um, right? So. so I have a question about game development. So this is the last question. So unfortunate for everyone else. Develop characters as a Warframe as a Warframe team. Um, I've noticed a lot of references to mythology in terms of um, you know Atlas and Nasia. And you know Dante within Dante's Inferno. Yes, I'm just curious yep. how that all works. It's very much uh, an, like it's a library of devs that have passions. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Excalibur being Excalibur is a reflection of Arthurian and, and you know initial yep. folklore in um, the, the, the Isles. And then it, it, the team just really is diverse and loves really cool shit. And um, <laughs> the amount of inspiration we get from people on the team to yeah. name things, to focus on thematically. Like, we have, we have touched it's a little bit of eras a, of lore. Myth like, myth weak that I question to finish yeah, up it's on. Really, yeah, it's a crazy ecosystem of, you know, we're looking at Greek yep. culture and, and other things and just kind of still seeing nothing. what sticks. And especially when it comes to Warframes, we were saying this earlier, like, we're still looking at mm -hmm. Keith Thompson concepts that we've had for Possibly the 10 years. Possibly the smartest person on planet Earth. Yeah. 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 He's Keith. built different, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> Handshake. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, first off, I really like the Seto Kaiba t-shirt. The what? Uh, oh, no, <laughs> the oh, oh, my God. I thought you were talking about him. I was like, like, surely you're talking about my black Thank you. Hat. I'm glad you noticed. We can duel later. We'll duel. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Finally. I was Someone like, I'm pretty sure it. there's nothing on that shirt. We'll duel later. We'll duel. <laughs> I'm sorry to take you back into the morgue. Oh, no. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's okay. Void keys. 
Oh. oh. Will there ever be a return to the sort of old void where you would have, you know, um, endless missions that would give you just random prime loot? Um. No, oh, right. Like, uh, okay. Uh, that that, that's an old, old we're question. In ITU. We've moved oh, up. excellent. Oh, my God. Visitation hours? Yeah, yeah vis visiting hours are open, and uh, it... it I, I love the old void key system. I remember getting like a T4 or T3 void key, T4 void key, doing a void survival for like 60 minutes straight and then just piecing out. We did like a soft the, tease. Oh, like a, the like problem with the old void keys is you only got one reward like, okay, out of it too. Have a, abyssal beacon, go run the mission, see what happens. It had wins and losses. Like people didn't really remember that there weren't matchmaking yet to preform. So there was like a lot of user experience no, I don't problems wanna, with no. that, but that's why it's not totally dead. So, yeah. The ri but the Omnia Fishers that are coming kind of mm -hmm. are that vibe. Like, mm -hmm. the Omnia Fishers are relic agnostic, so you can go into a survival mission and an Omnia Fisher, and you can bring any relic and just haul ass with prime gear. Like, <laughs> big rig prime gear farm for sure. <laughs> so, Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Omnia we'll do stuff. We'll a couple more questions. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, finger guns! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be probably doing a lot of that stuff uh, okay. on my main, if you guys want to join me for some uh, prime parts. Because, like, just, just stock up on, like, Steel Essence and things like that. Could we actually add a toggle to put, like, the visor down? Oh, toggles. Those actually, kind of. Someone, one of the character artists, or the rigging artists working on it was really, like, I can't see this properly because it goes up and down on its own in the arsenal and I wanted to be able to see the state so may maybe. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. You're right though. That would be nice. <laughs> and thank, thank you, you for the finger guns. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it, right? Back over here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, I was going to do the harrow thing but I don't have oh. any weapons on me. <laughs> um, good to that's know. Good. That yeah. Is good. Yeah. So a fashion frame question. We have the Tenno color palettes which are the main colors for all the different Warframes. Have you guys considered a DE color palette of like Megan's greatest hits, <laughs> Rev's greatest hits? <laughs> uh, listen, I know, I know you're surprised, but sometimes Sorry. I really like <laughs> Megan's outfit. Greatest hits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let us have ears. He will never acknowledge my colors. That is, that is never. They're, they're good. I'm just saying that's free real estate. <laughs> like <laughs> transactions. Let's go. A more. Yeah. No. no. We, that. That sounds like a great. That's idea. actually very cute. Yeah. That's, that's pretty idea. cool. Yeah. I like. I like the idea. And you'd have to guess <laughs> whose was whose. Like you'd have. Like Ooh. row four would be like reds and blacks. Whose could that be? Yours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like? Do, do you like Reb's earring? I have one earring in because they told me the other one was hitting the microphone. So this is not. Uh, <laughs> Someone else is wearing the other one. Yeah, Alex. Alex is somewhere over there. <laughs> Our PR manager has it. Yeah, I, I want to make sure yeah. to get the end. I'll, I'll yeah, adjust actually, the question yeah, in yes, a we'll little bit. Because yes. like. All right. All right, back over here. We'll see. Oh, I thought we were only doing Hi. one or two left. Okay. Are you Lucario? Yes. Oh my uh, God. Okay. Amazing. Continue. All right. So my question actually involves Necromex, and if we're ever going to see other new Necromex rather than the two that we have. Because they did they promise Necromech content, not. they did. I don't think we have it, yeah. But in the year of 1999, we're not releasing any new ones. Like Bone Widow and Void Rig, we just, in the Dante's Unbound update, Bone Widow enemy AI is getting reworked, so we're like touching up the ones we have before we, I guess, go to the morgue to grab a skull to put in another <laughs> Yeah. So we actually have to go to the morgue for Necromex, but not yeah. for the reasons you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's sort of like a... I don't want to pet you. Answer. Why'd you make me automatically pet <laughs> Sorry, you? Yeah. Sorry. Oh gosh. Thank okay. You. Thank you. I mean, pretty you free stream clam. today, I though. Can see I can see the dark. Yeah. I don't. Oh, oh, in a warframe tide, I oh should. Oh my god, so Give fancy. It. This was actually my uh, art final. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I passed. Uh, ten out of ten. Ten. So my question is, when are we getting more him? More Clem. That's a great question. What's the answer? Mainline quest? <laughs> Wait, maybe. Well, What's he up to? We'll, we'll see how, well, what is he up to? That's a good question. He's hanging out at the fort. And, uh, yeah, that is true. He's actually in many places. He's in Darbo's room. He's mm -hmm. in the fort. We'll see. But Clem is a, holds a very special place in our heart for, for a lot of reasons. So. He better. He does. <laughs> he does. He does. Cool. He's very special. Yeah. He's very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop we'll, yelling. We'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see where he goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Three, Thank, you. Thank you. Great shirt. He's not four, in the morgue, I promise. No. Oh, my God. Yeah. Back over here. Five. So I have been coerced into asking a question on behalf of someone that is not here to ask themselves. Okay. And he has made it very clear that if I do not get a satisfactory answer, I don't get my family back. That's, uh, 
All, All right. right. All right. Are there any plans to evaluate spawn rates in between console and PC hosts, uh, as apparently it affects reactant drops and loot drops? Um, any plans to? Okay, he wants. By the way, just so you know, this man's family. <laughs> 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 this man. <laughs> First of all, best to your family. Um, <laughs> please answer this <laughs> very carefully. So there's a symptom and a cause there. You, 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 the symptom was the stinger to that FPS. question, which is, hey, spawn rates for loot and reactants are affected, which are like two different cohorts of problems. Reactants yep. is a microsystem in the void thing. I'm just going to keep talking until you can get your family safely out of there. This, <laughs> this, 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 I'm filibustering the question. Um, You're not but, planning uh, to do it. That's of, what the, the answer. Perf there's performance reasons that we want everyone to be able to play Warframe on all platforms, but it, there is, it is true that if you can get stuck with the lower end machine host, depending on the platform, you might not have reactants as quickly as you'd like. I think like the best way I can answer that to guarantee the safety of your family is like the worst offenders for something like that, we can probably fix. Mm -hmm. uh, we can increase reactant spawn rates to be the exterminate norm across all mission types. So mm -hmm. right now, survival, the reactant drops lower because we want you zero. to get to the five minute mark hunting for it. But with exterminate, you get it within like the first three seconds. Yeah. So like, and that's re regardless of, of spawn rates. So we can tweak things to make sure that that happens left, less often. Mm -hmm. And then for the, like, the loot part of it, that's a little trickier to solve. So I think 50% is still a pass. So enjoy your weekend in Boston with your family. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to do one more here and one more here, and then we're going to sign off. So. And that, yeah, we want to say a big thank you to everyone at DE after as well. So we yeah. have one more thing to say before we go. And oh my God, hey! That's, Whoa, what is that? Is that a pit boy? It is a pit boy. Oh my yeah. God! Are you a tunnel snake? <laughs> <laughs> no I wish it was that cool. Ah. <laughs> you are. Uh, <laughs> you and uh, okay. So my question is if. You have Drifter selected as your operator. Is it under consideration maybe that you could also have the melee combat as well? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, we thought it would be a lot more important to keep Drifter melee in Duveri. Like, it's only in Duveri. But, like, I kind of feel like you could get away with it in Core Warframe these days. Yes, yes, work. you can. People, like, like here, here's the thing. Yeah, it'd be an interesting. Here's the thing. Like, like if okay, you have so it I, in I, I use the Duveri and no one, like, that's the only the, thing you've ever played, then mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the expectation. But then I can also right? use the Siam as a Warframe in Core Warframe, mm -hmm. so, like, why not both? Why choose? Why choose? I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a couple, like, obviously, there's dependencies on having void damage with amps, but, mm -hmm. like, we could try on some testing. Trying to picture it, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But it's also, you know, Drifters can't Soft run test. a mod. Oh yeah. Like there, there, there'd have to be that added on feature yeah. to it. So I think it's a, it's not impossible. It's just yeah, I would yeah, it would take some time to think about it. Yeah, yeah. that's effectively a All no. Right, last question. Because they already said no here. before. I think I know who this is. Oh hello. <laughs> nice shirt. Nice. Wow. Just wanted to say, um, I just have my picture from 2016. You guys were sitting in Dragonfly, and I was just looking at them and saying, wow, how long we've been uh, oh, together for this I know. Oh, Thank oh, you so much. Uh, but my question is, um, Wait, I'm from the Inferno Alliance, so um, Kimmy, and I just wanted to ask that um, okay, I'm gonna start doing Warframe the being a predominantly a, a PvE game, I was wondering if there was a way to, or if there's been a thought about collaboration among clans or even alliances mm -hmm. versus just separately doing events hey let's get together and do so i know in the past there have been yeah the, that's a that's a topic that kind of so wrapped <laughs> up with outliers <laughs> being so important um honestly yeah i think i think a total easy and cool way to switch the next clan event up would be instead of clan trophy tiers and instead of leaderboards that's competitive it's like a clan collaborative yeah thing, yeah, yeah that, i think that would be a good and i think i kind of implied it with the other question like a social benefit or something like that would be great mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I would love that. I would love you to see that you make friends with other clans. That would be mm -hmm. yeah, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, you had some closing remarks. Just to, to everyone watching from home at like the Digital Extremes team, obviously none of this is possible without the people. Yeah, they were talking about infested liches for like because someone asked a question about it. Uh, I'll I'll are, talk about each like to the, that and another point in a moment because I want to hear them all out. Supported us for 11 years of tax tax Oh my god! Rolling reload. Yeah. Yes, and thank you to Ben for coming on stage. Thanks, Ben. Awesome. 
Thank you, Reb, for Thank being here. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for being part of the girls. <laughs> my yeah. pleasure. Oh, my God, anytime. anytime. All right, everyone, have a wonderful, safe night, and thank you for watching. Thank thanks you. Everyone. Bye. Thank you. That is incredible. Okay, I think that's the end of... Oh, that, that's a dog. Alright. Uh, I need to be safe first, and then I will... Because there's a group up there. Proficient fighter, yes. Okay. Uh, let's cut that. Let's pause. Stop. Cease. I don't... Okay. Let's not make this mistake again. So what I'm going to do is swap to this, aha, and close this. There we go. All right. So, uh, two things. So one, one thing is that if you take a look at Warframe, uh, in, in a in a closed case so like one person asked they are, are they not doing enough and I'm gonna say they're doing they're doing a lot but they're also not working on what are pain points right for instance Duviri is really really cool but then like how much support has Duviri gotten since it was released right what have they done to keep Duviri alive uh, outside of just bug fixes, you know, like that, and that it, the problem that I'm saying it's like it's a very very repeated issue in Warframe, right? Like it, what uh, Kubro? Like the first pets were introduced. Like okay, we got Sentinels as the first pets, right? Those were introduced like in year two, I believe, one or two of Warframe. And we've been getting new pets every single, um, like, like, every, like, other expansion has, like, a new pet system, right? We have the Kubro, we have the Kavat, we have the Moa, we have the Mech Dogs, we have the Infested Pets, right? But ultimately, what was the point of doing all of that? Because that whole time, right, Sentinels were just outright better, unless you're running Smita or Darza Kavats, until, like, we got the, uh, like, the uh, Vopophyla. The reason why the Vopophyla were meta for so long was because the Vopophyla were immortal, right? And at, high, at like, late game to high level play, like, I'm not talking about, like, end game, end game, end game, right? Like, this is something that everyone's eventually going to reach. You're going to find that your your pet dies a hell of a lot, right? And it's a little bit silly to be like, oh, uh, the, the pet dies a lot? Okay. Oh, well, oh, not, not the right button. There we go. Pet dies a lot? Okay. Not going to, not going to address it, the, a broken system for, like, nine years right that's why I, like like that, that's just like why do you keep adding to a broken system and not fixing it you know uh i'm gonna turn the game volume up uh back up in a little bit so give me a moment right and that and that's not the only thing like arcwing right they kept trying to push arcwing they kept trying to push their idea of arcwing and then they keep like their excuse is that oh uh, like, and now now they've just given up on the whole system as a whole, like, uh, Arcwing as a whole, right? Like, Arcwing has been officially sunset. And yet we still have to go and do the mission for it and whatnot. So, like, if you really, really, like, and they, they're like, oh, like, the reason why we're deciding to sunset Arcwing because we don't like it. Uh, uh, no one likes playing it and we don't have any ideas on how to fix it, right? That's, that's a stupid... Like, that's a stupid standpoint, right? Because uh, you have millions of players with, like, uh, with at which you could give feedback to, uh, get feedback from, right? And so, like, oh, uh, just because, like, 
uh, we couldn't figure anything out like in-house, like we're just going to give up on it, right? Like that, that's how PvP worked. That's how like everything else was, right? It, it's just, it, it's a little inane. Like, I, I'm excited for 99. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for new content. New content's always good. But like, how old do you think Inaros is? Inaros is like eight years old. He's been like that for eight years. He was meta, like, the first, maybe first two years until they changed how, like, damage worked, right? And the and he was definitely meant for, like, an older, like, older, um, like, a slower game, right? Because, like, if you take a look at Yoreli, for instance, Yoreli got, like, a buff... Or a fixes like immediately because she had the visual, the player base. They they care about player base, sure, but like, still, like for instance, when they were talking about Loki's, like ah, look, we got the one Loki player out there, like, like we're not gonna do much to fix him because like it's very polarizing, making excuses, making excuses, making excuses, right? At, at the end of the day, what they care about is like what are the player numbers and what are the things that players are gonna appreciate more, right? And like, it, it's it, it's kind of silly. It's kind of very very silly, right? For instance, um, I'm surprised no one's asking about like the next Incarnate badge, right? But like, um, the the late game in Warfare aim is lacking, sure, but that's not the biggest point. That's not the thing that anyone should be complaining about. It's that we have all these problems, right? Sticky corners, right, have been a problem in Warframe for over, like, more than 11 years, right? Just as a reminder, like, it, they, they've been around for, like, more than 11 years. And, like, they're only just deciding to address it now, right? The fact that zipping exists at all is just endemic of, like, there's a weird problem with FPS. So, like, sure, you can add as much content as you want, right? Like, and I, like, I will go out of my way to defend the DE, DE, especially Dev Team 2, with Rebecca taking over, with a lot of, like, like, I, I'm more than willing to defend, like, their, uh, what they've done so far, but it's what they aren't doing, and which seem fairly simple, right? It's very clear that there's a bunch of spaghetti going on in the background because apparently, like, you know the thing when you're doing Daviri and you can see your frames available and your weapons available? Uh, apparently, that was exceptionally difficult to do, according to Pablo, right? That should not be difficult to do, <laughs> right? But the fact that, like, Warframe is such a spaghettified game, like, just shows that. Once again, like, I'm playing Warframe because I like playing Warframe. I, I support DE in their initiative, but, like, it is a bunch of ga Like, the game is basically, like, held together with duct tape and glue at this point, right? They were talking about, like, oh, we're increasing QOL. How about we, like, fix actual problems, please? And thank you, right? I can I can list like so many so many things. I have like a like for instance, right? Oh, like there's not a pro like we see sortie as a successful game mode and we don't see any reason to address it. You sure about that? Sure about that? Oh, come on, stupid stupid thing. Like honestly, why are there 10 round missions like for defense of all things? That take like Especially for, um, uh, like, Archon Hunts. That's, like, literally the least pleasant game mode ever. The only reason people play them is because there are chase items there. Right? Not because it's fun. Uh, like, no one wants to do a 10-round defense. No one ever wants to do a 10-round defense. Especially not being forced to do a 10-round defense. If they're doing a 10-round defense, it's either because they're forced to or they're gathering resources, right? Uh, like, we can talk about Vehek, for instance, right? 
like all the like old 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 boss design that needs to go suck one forever and never like and just be put down uh, anyways i'm not going to complain about the it again uh it's just like there's a lot of things that need addressing that aren't that like affect uh everyone at least like it affects like player retention for instance lol star like if you're talking about like things that uh bug a lot of people right uh it's necromech right necromech not the fact that it exists the fact that you're forced to get it before to start new war right and it's literally the most painful thing right like, it, it takes, like, if you were to speedrun it by yourself with no friends, it takes, what, a week of constantly grinding demos, minimum. And that is the, with the caveat that you are able to survive demos, right? Because toxic enemies eat through shields, and unless you're running Rhino or Revenant, in a lot of cases, you're just going to accidentally die to a toxic ancient or toxic Exodus, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that at that. I think, like, um, I'm gonna be addressing each of these topics uh, at a time, like in, uh, like on the Reddit and things like that, and try to like stoke some positive communication, right? I'm I'm not here just to uh, levy my, a backlash of negative comments to like DE and Warframe, right? Because otherwise, like, why am I playing the game if I hate it so much, right? I, I love the game to pieces. There's just so many issues that like could be resolved quite uh, ceremoniously, you know. Uh, for instance, the Necromech one. Like the biggest spit in the face is like the least popular item to build, being the Paracesis, right? Uh, is just given to you for the quest. He's like, and Ordis is just like, oh, you know this thing that everyone refused to build? Like, here, it's important. I felt it was important, so I made it for you. Right, in the middle of the quest. Meanwhile, it was like, oh, Necromech? Nah, you're going to have to do that two and a half week grind, right? Um, uh, your Railjack? Nah, you're going to have to farm all that resources by yourself. It's like, what? Excuse me? Like, you're, you're well, like, they're, because they saw, it's like, okay, we know it's, we, we want people to use the Paracesis, and we know it's going to be a problem, because no one, we've, the Paracesis has been a recipe that's been out for five years, right? Because it took five years to get Lotus back, by the way. Um, and, like, no one builds the Paracesis. Like, because no one wants to spend a thousand ducats on a weapon that, like, they just don't feel like they're going to use. Especially since it's a great sword, right? So, like, w that's the biggest spit in the face. Ordis just give says, hey, I, I sc scrounged up some things and built this thing that's really annoying for you to build. Uh, like, it's not a problem. It's like, why couldn't you have done that with, uh, like, uh, what should I call it? Um... Necromech, like, all it takes is, like, for a father or grandmother to send an encrypt encrypted message is, like, hey, it's, uh, you'll be needing this here, right? And then they just give you one. Like, or, 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 like, you fought, like, you had a broken Necromech, like, just laying in the ship, right? You get, imagine being catapulted into, uh, a into the uh, Murex, right? And then you're catapulted out of your Warframe because you're hitting a uh, Orphix field, right? And then there's a, a dead Necromech, or a, a couple of dead Necromechs laying there because uh, like that's the bare minimum that uh, Deimos could do because Deimos had to stay like as uh, quote-unquote neutral as possible, right? That's fine. There's plenty of ways to work that around. Like, when asked about it, is, is there any way to make, like, uh, New War more accessible? It's like, oh, we're thinking about it. Like, Necromechs are more accessible than ever. Yeah, that's like saying, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Orb Belize 
like get like getting to profit taker was accessible back in the day like that that's or like before it was fixed right like that that doesn't make it better it actually makes it way worse right oh it's like oh well, you know cutting off your arm used to be difficult because you only had a spoon now we gave you like a guillotine and all of that like why do I have to cut off my arm? Oh, because we need an arm for, to fit in that keyhole over there. It's you know you see that lion shaped uh, or lion head uh, keyhole. Yeah, we have to feed an arm in there. It's like, why did you design it this way? Oh, we thought it'd be a fun quirk. It's like, but I like my arm. It's like, no, if you want if you want in, you gotta cut it off. Can I get my arm back? Nope. That, see that arm? That's your time. That's the amount of time a lot of people have lost, you know? Like, it took me, like, so it was me passively doing uh, Orb Valise for, like, five months to finish it, right? People who are actively trying to do it suffered for, like, two and a half months. That's not, that's not good. And then it's just like, oh, I'm glad that like the uh, requirements got nuked to the ground because that was a bad grind. And yes, I understand that it's a faction thing. There should be grinding things, right? But like, oh my goodness. Why did it take six years or whatever? Like four years, I don't care. Like, it, it like, it, people have been complaining about it for years, right? I'm glad that it got changed. I'm like, and so like, oh, uh, maybe doing these alerts for like one or two of each dead bond will be enough to suffice. It's like, mm, not really. I, I'm not, I, I like that, that. That's the kind of stuff that like annoys me a lot, right? It's not about, oh, they're not doing enough. They're putting their focuses in the wrong places because orb release could have been fixed years ago. And it was literally just a set of integer changes, right? And then it's like, no, we gotta look, like, I remember, like, last year at Tenocon when they were addressing this. They are just like, uh, no, we're not gonna change it just yet because we have to look at how bad the grind is and if, like, it really is as bad as people uh, make it out to be, blah, blah, blah. No, bitch. It's, like, it literally takes two months for, like, a person to do with a like sure they got to work on a full-time job and things but like it's like what okay end of rant thank you for listening to my ted talk there okay so infested liches so we were uh someone came up and asked about infested liches on the dev stream or the quote-unquote dev stream the thing is is that like okay d a d e has like has kind of been very annoyed about that question because like it's been asked ever since sisters were introduced right because they thought people thought that like liches would be the last thing and then they uh then they announced the sisters of parvos right um uh, which like what now like oh are we gonna get infested liches now are we gonna get sentient liches are we gonna get like void corrupted liches like, it, like, every time we introduce a new faction, they're like, oh, are, is it going to get a lich? So, like, I can I can tell that, like, DE's a little bit worn at this point. Um, sure, whatever. Uh, the biggest thing, though, is that, um, when was the last time the infested were relevant in the story? It's been a few years. It's been a few years. So if you take a look at, um, like, 1999 and the proto, um, uh, proto Warframes and the proto Infested, there's a good chance that Albrecht made the proto Infested, mind you. Uh, this will probably be the first time the infested have been relevant in years and it's probably the best time for um 
which we call it uh infested liches to come in to play that's why they say they're probably saying okay wait until like uh tenocon because then we're not going to announce it because that's where they're going to divulge all of 1999 right okay where is this this is underground i haven't played this area in so long uh is there an underground uh thing down here i imagine there to be uh yeah like I, I could sit here all day bitching and moaning about like um i i really should course correct my language at this point because like uh i've been letting uh loose a little bit too often lately i'm not a big fan of that oh i don't think i've been here in a while is this new Interesting. I've never done this. Like this particular puzzle. Quote unquote. Or maze. Oh, great. Okay. Got to go around and around and around. So like yeah, it's just it's just some a, a a bunch about relevance, right? And that that's kind of the problem with expanding so much is like you lose relevance so quickly. Uh, where am I going? Am I going here? There. Well, I can like. I can rip into any game. Like, the fact that... The reason why I can rip into Warframe so much is because of how much time I've spent with it. How much investment I've had, like, either financially or, like, out of interest. So, while, uh... Whatever her name is having a mental breakdown. I, and just to calm down a little bit. Oh, we got the bug. <laughs> okay. Very simple. Now it's stuck. <sighs> Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, done. Cool. Blazing Bombardment, there we go. Something. So I'm probably going to wait for the... Um, uh, why, why all the way over there? Crazy people. Um, I'm probably going to wait for the arc gun to spawn both times because I think I'll need the damage. Because I don't think I can, like, I'm well set up for this uh, dragon fight. I still want to do it. Like, yeah, so I'll try to engage a little bit with the community and talk about some things. I'm not going to, uh oh, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Okay, valve, jump off, click, valve, valve, there we go. Oh, it's been a while since I caught the good side of a dragon. Because you want to be on the left side of the dragon, because, uh, like, they turn to the left, and it, it's just really awkward to, uh, Traverse the dragon while it's turning left and you're on its right side. So that's nice. It's been the first time in a long time. Okay. So that's enough complaining out of me. I think, uh, how, how long have I been streaming for? I'll check in a bit. 
I think I was in Duviri for like an hour or something. Yeah, an hour eight minutes. I also need to check some things, uh, because I think there was a Twitch drop. I need to go double check that. But anyway, some weird, uh, weird questions, some nerdy questions. All of that was fine and dandy. That <laughs> looks so funny. <laughs> okay, look at Rhino. I'm doing so little damage though. Yeah, I, I need to wait for the thing. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Yeah. Uh, I. What was. I have this stug. Great. Wonderful. It's gonna help me so much. Watch, the stug is gonna break this. There we go. Armor is definitely something that I think they need to work to look at, though. Like, overall, like, you, I think their focus is too much on making new things and not making sure that, like, people stay playing the game, right? And asking the question of, oh, what bothers players? Right, I think that's... Because, like, I think I've reached the point where... Uh, I'm not going to say that I'm ever going to be done with Warframe. I think I'm always going to come back to it. It's just that, like, we have a couple of really clear sore spots that need to be addressed. Like, for instance, like, we can take... Like, I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I said I'll leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm doing a really bad job of this. I should probably just fly in the correct direction. Yeah, because they're just going to make their way to me and they're going to present themselves like pretty easily. There we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Jump off the horse, please. Yeah, we've been waiting. One of the other issues with the infested liches, though, is that, like... Oh, what was that? How did I just take infinite damage right there? I didn't even get my, like... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, iframes. From shield gating. So, this should happen. Okay. It's uh I don't know. Lots lots of weird things about Warframe. Love it to pieces. But, like, the thing is, the more time you spend with someone or something, the more you, like, realize that they have, um, problems. And some un are unreconcilable, right? Uh, right now, for me, like, Warframe, it's, like, very clear that, like, Warframe has a lot of, uh, unreconcilable things that, like, de like desperately need a look at. Zeneric basically makes me immortal now, because, like, I can just spam my, uh, two, 
Because, like, every... Oh! I spoke too soon, maybe? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Athos clams, intrinsics, woo! Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Alright. Could probably sell that synth apart for like five plat too. Okay. What's happening? Why why here? Whatever. It works. Alright, fast travel. Calervo. Calavero. Uh evolve. Okay. Let's upgrade the Latron. Yes, I'll put it in the Latron. I don't care if it's the Prime or not. Complete solo mission. I wish that I could just unlock them all in a row. Feeling creative. Okay. Uh, equipment. Arsenal. I need to use the washroom really, really badly. It's a Latron. Here, you get a supercharge. Do I have a supercharge available? Yes, I do. There we go. Uh, galvanized. Sure. Uh, I don't really care for crit right this second. I think I want puncture. I don't care about punch through. I want puncture. And I want status. Uh... Sure, we'll do that. We'll just complete a mission. We'll, we'll, we'll just go through each and every one of these steps real quick. Uh, I'm going to raise the game volume a little bit so I can actually hear it. There we go. All right. I don't know. That was fairly uneventful. Like, okay, they, they introduced Aoi. Um, she's not my thing, at least in terms of the looks. If you enjoy her, then you enjoy her. Uh, yeah. I should probably do this as well, the Master Rank Up. I'm just lazy at this point. Okay. All right, I have steel path ready. Let's just let's just do like nope, 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 nope. I want to do a capture. Let's do a capture. So this uh well, you'll see very soon why I like the Latron uh so much. It's it just has to do with the fact that armor is an issue, right? We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them it's okay. It like the kickback's kind of nasty, but it's okay. Latron, the good old orc and hunting rifle. Do, 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 do. Well done. Nice and quick, like all the time. Gonna run around and do a thing. <sighs> yeah, I'll probably take it nice and easy today. I'm gonna finish unlocking the Tron stuff, try it out in Steel Path because that's what I wanted to do originally. And then, um, okay, where am I going? I'm going up there. And then I'm going to go and uh, take care of some business. Lots of business to take care of today. Mm. 
Yay, 5,000 XP. I think that EXP is also related to uh, mastery, right? That's 5,000 mastery points right there. Oh yeah, there used to be like daily unlock things that gave you um, affinity. So one thing you can do now is just go over here, click that. All right. On Puncture status effect, get multi-shot. Stacks up to four times. Sure. Versus... So I want multi-shot. Multi-shot is probably just better for what I want. Enemies with the enemy with the incarnate. Uh, okay. Uh, what would be a high enemy count mission? Uh, we could do mod survival. I don't think it will... It's going to be strong enough, though. Right? Uh, I think I need to put serration on. <sighs> do, 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 serration. There. There we go. Nice, nice damage. Cool. Because I care primarily about fire rate and, um, what was it called? Fire rate and, um, status chance. That's what, that's what I care about for this weapon. All right, I can just watch the stream now. Make sure I can see all that. I don't think anyone's actually, eh, one one person's watching, it's okay. Not gonna get a lot of views today. Hello, Lulstar. So I'm just gonna stick here until I get my hundred kills. It's gonna take a while. When in doubt, I have like the sun and moon. So, so I need. So the thing about Incarnans is I need the headshots. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Come on. There we go. So it becomes a rocket launcher. That's one. That has a bouncing projectile. That's fun. Look at that. Look at all that fun. Yeah. Much, much better. Okay, I need to get rid of this dog. This dog is actually very annoying. Uh, okay. Like, its little barrier thing is just in the way, like, all of the time. Uh, let's see. I'll be trying to make some shorts. Uh, it's primarily going to be focused on Helldivers for the time being. Uh, maybe a few Warframe ones. I just haven't been, like, super focused on making shorts or videos consistently because like I don't know what it, it feels like once I hit like a speed bump I, I lose a lot of motivation and I feel like that that that's just something like that happens in life as well and that goes for like any project right it's fun to start something it's kind of hard to like keep it going and I think it's like about changing your tune about it. I think um, Pirate Soft Software uh, said something about that. Like it, it's about like turning it into like starting a thing to turning it into like a starting a bunch of smaller things about solving a lot of smaller problems, right? Like look at these incarnates. Like look at the incarnate. It's so much. This, it's cool. Like, you're shooting, like, a, a plasma ball that bounces around, killing everything. Like, I'm not... Like, it's it's fairly painless, right? It's all... It does what it needs to do. It's okay. But here's a weird thing. What if I told you that a lot of secondary weapons count as primary weapons when they kill things? Like, that goes for the Ocucore, that goes for the Catabolist... 
Uh, that goes for the Angstrom Incarnan. It's very, very strange. I, I'm not saying fix, that's something that needs to be fixed, but that's like the code of spaghetti, you know? Because I actually appreciate it when, like, the weapons are, like, like, I don't have to just primarily use the primary weapon for, like, half of the mission and then, like, swap, right? It, it's nice, because that, that's the thing about the ceramic dagger. It scales with primary weapon kills. Could you, like, kill and die, please? Thank you. Much appreciate. Look at that. Like, it's not amazing damage, and I'm not play using this weapon for its, like, damage, per se. It's nice, though. Because, like, it's a un, it's essentially unmodded weapon, right? It has serration and multi shot, and that's it. It's able to do do fairly okay. But it has a major component that I really, really want to show off in just a moment. I might actually be able to do this within five minutes. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. There we go. Also looking very, very forward to uh, the new Incarnans. I, like... Hopefully in the Dante Platinum... Why can't I hit you? Hopefully in the Dante uh, um, uh, Platinum Pack, it'll just have everything included. Probably cost me like 700 plat. That's okay. I just I just want to play with all of the fun things. I can earn plat anytime else. You have to go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, for instance, when was the last time you saw this like Orc and Void stuff? Like, updated, you know? Probably never. Because a lot of a lot of the uh, players that are still playing the game have are not, like, long-time veterans, right? No one... Like, a lot of people don't remember when the Orc and Void and the Orc and Derelicts were even part of the game. Good stuff, good stuff. I kind of wish Dante's 1 was his subsumable instead of his 3. Yeah, look at that. I uh, I got a bun... Well, no, actually. Yeah, no, that doesn't actually say anything. I thought it did. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, okay, so next week is the last time that call is going to be relevant, I think. So I'm going to... So what I'm going to do is on Sunday, I'm going to do the call missions for both uh, this account and my alt, uh, my main, and grab the Archon Shards, right? Because that's the last time the Archon Shards are going to be in store. And maybe I'll be able to double it. Uh, still not enough EXP, that's fine. Grab that. Recoil, mag cap. Okay, let's do recoil, I guess. Let's recoil more well, good. Uh, kill 30 enemies that are at least 40 meters away. Okay, how many? 30. Okay, that's that's a little annoying. I can do it, though. It's fairly easy. Uh, No oh, wait, I don't have Arcwing. Oh. I have I have horse unlocked, not Arcwing unlocked. Uh 
Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. You're upset. <sighs> Today's a slow stream, though. Definitely a slow stream. I'll probably be... I'm thinking about, like, doing a bit more Helldivery things. Maybe some community things. We'll see. Um... Because Helldivers is hot right now, right? So I think I should probably bandwagon a little bit. So after doing a couple weeks of Dante things, I think I'm going to just uh, sit down and just play a bunch of uh, Helldivers. I have a bunch of concepts already. Right. Oh, nope. Not how you mark. So that's fine. There, there, there. The one guy I marked was the guy that I didn't get rid of. Do, 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 do. 500 ammo. That's a lot of stuff. Like, okay. For instance, like, why, why is mining... Like, why did they ever think that mining was a good idea, huh? Okay, there there are enemies here. Yeah. Okay, I I I sh probably should have just like you know, actually marked them out. Okay. Hi. No, no, don't engage. That's another one, that's another one, that's another one. Okay, so new enemies should start coming in soon because there's an alert level, that's fine. Like, that's the nice thing about, like, these locations, though, is that, like, you can, you can play, like, you can see, like, the scope of the game. Really? Right beside me? Is that what you wanted to do? Oh, well. <sighs> okay. There we go. Let's get the easy one out of the way. Hmm. <sighs> Create some distance. There we go. Yeah, but the fact that I have to do 30 of these is so dumb. Like, it's just busy work, right? Yeah, unload your dudes. I'm going to keep backing up. 11. Reload. Thirteen. How far away is that? No, it's not far enough for me. Not far enough for the game either. You really want to do this, Mr. Grinch? Oh my god, get out of my way. There we go. Oh, there is a little bit of tracking, it seems. Very, very minor. There we go. Eighteen out of thirty. I 
I kind of want to get to the point with this account where I can just do whatever I want. Okay, the sensitivity is a little too high. There we go. Twenty two. Yeah, that's a waste of ammo. Okay, I do wish the zoom was a little bit better for those far off targets. I get that's not the point of this weapon. But I would like to hit them, please. There we go. There we go. 24. They can teleport? What? Okay. 25. Five more. Why am I not hitting? Oh, because I have this guy in front of me. Odd. This dog. Please, a little bit of ally sense would be so much appreciated. It's a hit scan weapon, so that's nice. <sighs> okay, let's get rid of you. Oh my god, this dog. Like, how long is this going to take me? I've already been here for like six minutes. Okay, two more. Oh, we got something annoying. Is that a MOA? Oh, that's a Bursa, right? Yeah. Not far enough, huh? Okay. Bad zips. One more. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Zip, 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 zip. Let's head up. Uh, you get a new dagger from New War. Yeah, the free color palette in the Discord. That's the color palette that you get from going to the anniversary page on the Warframe website. Uh, go to the eleven-year anniversary page on the Warframe website. You scroll down, you'll find like a little like um computer brick, and you can type in. Happy New Year. And you'll get a... Um, you'll get a uh, color palette. Okay. Leave Fortuna. Alright. I think... So... Uh, let's, let's show off the thing. Equipment, Arsenal. You go to Latron... That's not what I wanted to do. So here is it is. So let's see. Normally, you would be very, very tempted by the 30% crit chance. That would bring me to 42%. That means I could get to above 100% crit rate. You could also want the headshot multiplier, which is like separate from all of the damage types. But this is what I'm going to do. Every time I get a puncture status effect, I permanently remove 20% of the enemy armor. So what I'm going to do... So let's see, it's puncture focus now, right? 
That's great. Uh, do I have any status? Let's put down thermite rounds. Sure, for additional strip. And a little bit of status. So what I'm going to do... I mean, technically, 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 if I wanted just to showcase this, I could go status, and you go rifle aptitude. Yeah, I don't care about that, don't care about that. And then I'll max out rifle aptitude. My brain's starting to shut down. Um, I can feel it. I can feel my concentration slipping. Okay, it's going to conflict with Latron. How about now? No? Okay. Not going to play nice? There you go. 60% increased status chance. So, got about 20% chance to do something. That's okay. I could drop Serration for more. Sure, why not? Let's go status. We want as much status as possible. Uh, and then do we have any extra for puncture? No, I don't. I can bump up rifle aptitude more. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Uh, rifle aptitude, bop, 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 and done. Now I should have a bunch of status, about 30%. That's not bad. So one in three shots should... Uh, it will have a, essentially a 50-50 chance to do heat or puncture, right? It's not the greatest thing. Like, and also I get multi-shot, right? Okay. Okay, let's see how good this is. So this will be... I'm going to do some on Steel Path versus Grenier. Uh, we're not going to do a defense yet because I'm not insane. So let's just do a classic Grenier run, see how that goes, and then I think I'm going to call the stream. I said I was going to do a shorter one today. Uh, not... Yeah, you, I can I can feel my concentration slipping. So. Their rage is vehement, their oh, I still have Teshin? He's not a ghost? Very interesting. My, this account feels super bugged. So, like... You can see I'm not doing any damage to him, and now he ha now like now like look he's just super squishy now, right? Oh, what's that flicker? I don't know. Is that a lich flicker? That's really early for a lich flicker. So I think it's a guaranteed proc with this. Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go, oh, you guys want to live? No. You get hit by explosion, and then now. Uh, it's like not the greatest thing. It's not a solution, right? But it helps, right? Because, like, now if I match that up with some fire rate, right, I can, I can now very easily kill these formerly extremely tanky enemies, right? Two, three, four, and it like it works on entire rooms too because it's an AOE weapon. See, it's not like it, it's very complementary. The Latron uh, Incarnate is super complementary. Uh, it's not like oh, uh, without it, like you can't do anything. Like you can use it to kill things, right? But, like, right now, I'm just using it to strip armor. Because I want it. Because all it takes is five procs. All it takes is five procs, and their armor is gone forever. So I think the next... Uh, I mean, I, you also don't need to, like, max strip either. See, look, it even works through... Um, uh, what do I call it? Eximus armor. See, look, armor stripped. And the weird thing is, apparently, okay, this is my the most annoyed that I will be. Like, why does enemy, like, um, uh, overguard inherit like damage reduction from their armor? 
but our armor, like our overguard, does not. Answer me that, DE. No, oh, I get the stalker. I'm not going to be able to handle the stalker. I'm not going to delude myself into thinking I can handle the stalker. I can try. A forward? Of all things you want to avenge, it's forward? Okay, where are you? Uh, where are you? Oh, he stripped my overguard. Wonderful. There you are. Oh, that's fun. Oh, stripped my R overguard again. Because that's fair. Now he's in the way. Wonderful. Oh, no more overguard once again. There you go. No armor. Oh, look. Steel path. Steel path. Uh, what should we call it? Stalker. Down. See? Just gotta pay a little patient and all that. It's all good. It's definitely not fast, but it's definitely a lot more doable now. I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening with Teshin right now. Because, like, yeah, sure, his skull was crushed, but, like, he also donned, uh, what was it called? A... What was it called? A, uh, veil. Right? Do, 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 do. Stop, 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 da, 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 do, 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 do. So, like, if you don't mind getting carried a little bit in circuit, like, oh my god, this dog is awful. I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it now. Causing me so many issues. Like, if you don't mind getting carried by in the circuit, like this, like, the steel path, like, rewards are so good. Oh, look, an Eximite. Why do you inherit armor values on your thing? I don't care. Wait, do you not notice that I exist? Look at me. Look at, look at how rude he is. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, no. So, I can do Steel Path now. Like, technically, I don't ever have to touch this account now. Because I can do Steel Path. No problemo. I'm probably going to swap up my melee weapon at some point, too. Because I've been using it forever. I also... Okay. I probably should also swap away from Rhino at some point. He's just been, like, a very... He's been a very good crutch for me. Because I don't have to worry... I'm getting another Flicker? For what? Oh, right. This is Steel Path. Dang it. Oh, look at that. I don't get my overguard again. Excuse me? You want to keep knocking my overguard out? Sure, why not? Yeah, that that's fair. You get to turn off my abilities. Or my active abilities. That's so much fun. Someone thought it was a good idea. But oh what's the thing about this uh 
game that people like the most. Their abilities, their buffs. Let's turn those off. Yeah, it's, you can tell it's been a while since I played, like, Warframe uh, religiously. Come on, hold still for a bit. I kind of want to, like, put ice on this. I should get a Rhyme Round. That, that wouldn't be bad. Like, oh, look at that. You had armor? Too bad. It's gone now. This is really slow, though. Like, partially because, like, the weapon... I, I haven't, like, been given the opportunity to mod this weapon really well yet. Because it is only... What? Scaled up to level 11? I have s out of 60? Like, uh, I have 22 out of 60 to use, right? Not to mention that I don't have a lot of mods yet. Oh god. Come on. Arcane Ultimatum, always nice. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to focus on is making this weapon, like, very good at armor stripping. So I'll be focusing, like, putting up its, uh, puncture. Get its ratio up as much as possible. You like having your armor, you feel protected. Well, let me just shoot you a couple times. Oh, no, you're dead. Oh, the armor that you are so proud of is now gone. The Latron's probably, like, why we won't ever have, like, a real puncture focus Warframe. I mean, technically, I could spam Roar on Rhino, and that should, like, permanently armor strip things, right? We'll see. It'll be interesting. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a try. I'll use Puncturing Roar later and see how that works. Because if I can, like, cheese... Steel path, then I'm gonna do it, right? Anyways, there. Steel path solved. <laughs> okay. Gift from the Lotus. Oh god, more gifts of the Lotus. <sighs> okay, Veiled Ribbon Cipher and Sabotage. Uh, so, let's see. Capture and Sabotage. Okay. Let's do that. Sure. Why not? We'll do that real quick. Is it on? Is it Steel Path? I hope it's not Steel Path. Uh, it's not the BL and the end all. There are a couple of other things that I need to work on. on but like, I'm going to get the Angstrom in Karnan, which is basically like another crutch. I have the Platinum for it. I just need to build the Angstrom now. Oh, level up, you guys. 11? Okay. I might... I'm going to take a look at the stats. I'll probably either use the Skiajati or the War. Or a Broken War. Because, uh, like, they're, they're going to be... They're going to be nice, right? Hmm. 
Okay. Let us get this over with, because I still want those rewards. I might do them on my main as well. Yeah, but, like, right now, th th there are a couple of things that, like, I feel like could be easily implemented or fixed. Like, for instance, uh, augments, I feel like there's just a conversation to be had, right? And DE just doesn't want to have that conversation. Because, like, oh, do you know what would be fun? Like, and, like, could be temporary. It doesn't have to be permanent, right? Like, just all of the augments for all of the Warframes, and don't have to worry about all of that nonsense, right? We just note that these things are subject to change. Will always be subject to change, We, if they are too strong, and, like, uh, we see too many people using them, we'll take them away. If they are, like, if people feel like they're necessary to play a Warframe, we might add that make a change to that Warframes kit. Right? Uh, I think that's I think that's very fair. Yeah, you can't make me do another defense. Why? Okay. Uh, Forma, please. <sighs> Okie dokie. Yeah, but uh, next week, Wednesday, Dante will be live, and I'll be testing out a bunch of things. Uh, so look forward to that. But I, after I finish this, I'm probably going to be signing out. Oh, it's one of these sabotages. Grumble, grumble. What's the point of opening up a portal to an orc and derelict like this? Like, you risk losing so much, and you risk, like, corruption, right? Corruption or infestation. Like, we do we know the lore behind the uh, orc and sentry? Because, like, or the void sentry? Or whatever it's called? So many questions. The portal only allows travel in one direction. Start up the portal generators to reverse the polarity. Wait, won't well, everything die? Just that? Yeah. I have negative power strength, by the way. So, like, I don't know. Scaling is broken in this game. No, I don't have negative power strength, but, like, low level missions, like, do not even, like, compare remotely to, like, high level missions or medium level missions. What counts as high level anymore? Like, here's the thing, if you can beat Steel Path on it, like, normally, you can you can probably handle level uh, level cap, which is, I think, 9,999. Like, it's just a pain in the butt at that point. Beam device, but they okay. Void key. Find it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a dev stream today, so I just had I, I I rushed to put the stream up. I was gonna start a little later. Oh well. Oh right, you guys. What have you done to her? 
I shot her in the face, like you do. Quick, pick up the key. Weirdos. You got the key. Now get back to the portal. Oh, what did you do to her? I don't know, says the person wielding a sniper rifle. Hmm. Uh, so those those characters have been nerfed, by the way. You used to only be able to damage their backpacks. Oh, I know where you're stuck with... Um... Okay, I'll, I'll check that in a moment. Oh god. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I'll check in a moment. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, next week we'll be able to do uh, Archons and whatnot. So you'll still need to do Veilbreaker before we can do Archons, but after that, uh, like if you're willing to wait till Wednesday, we can do that together. Otherwise, do what you need to do. Okay. There we go. Let's take a look at the the Discord really quick so I can take a look at that. All right. So what you want to do is when Lotus is shooting a laser at you, uh, you want to point that laser into the bubble. That's all you need to do. And then when you're fighting the next phase, they're going to shoot lasers at you. You want to you want to take a look at those bubbles, and you want those lasers to pass through the bubbles. I think that's literally just about it. Um, if you need any more advice or help with that, uh, I'll pay attention to the Discord for a little bit after the stream and uh, walk you through that. Otherwise, like literally, you just need to point the laser at the bubble. And uh, make sure the laser hits the bubble. Okie dokie. Oh, rewards. Very nice. Yay! I hit 30. Some are born to greatness. Some have greatness thrust upon them. Okay. I think that'll do it for today's stream. Thank you all for watching and sticking around with me. I don't know if it was all... Like, I don't know. Watching a dev stream is always interesting. We get to see like what their thoughts are, what they're thinking about doing, what is going to happen. Uh, it's very clear that they have a direction. I think that they need to be a little bit more transparent with the community, though. Um... Now, for my bit of transparency, I still need to grow this channel. It's growing little by little every day. But I think I'm going to be pushing for, to start producing a bunch of Helldivers content. Um, but if you enjoy my streams and you've, if you enjoy my content, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe and share. Uh, if you want to stay updated on like what I'm up to or what I'm doing, feel free to join the Discord or subscribe to the channel. Anyways uh thank you all for joining me today i think this will be it for today enjoy your weekends everyone and uh ta-ta for now